All right, it's time to go through Kaylin. That's really about it. So here we are back at the table. So the only thing that really comes to mind is figuring out a way to hmm, table was grace. Let's go through Kayla, the best place to start, I suppose. Oh, random message appraisal. The Gale Tunnel would probably be around right over here, given that Fort Gale is over this way. Big question is... This is more or less where Dragon Barrow starts. This boundary. So the goal right now is kind of honestly to... Explore around... The boundary between the two areas. That said, I... Hmm. Hello, how are you doing? I'm chilling. Just trying to figure out how I want to tackle Caleb. I think I'm going to start over here by the smoldering church. I think actually working my way back through the guild tunnel it could be a nice thing to try to do. There's also this up here, but I think I'll save that for Dragon Barrow. But there is a Minor retreat right over there. That would be nice. The question is what I want to use in order to take down the Urtree Avatar over there. And new biscuits. Do you mean biscuits in the cookie way or biscuits in the biscuit way? That's my question. Well. Let's check what fire... No, Frenzy Burst. Frenzy Burst is going to be my best option by far. Let's just see... Oh, so... In English... And this is one of those funny differences. Those would be cookies, generally. It sounds like an Oreo, actually. Let's just see... But... Yeah, where it starts turning red... That's where I want to... That's where I'll start. Okay. Yeah, because we're right over a bit by Limgrave again, just on the other side of Limgrave. Godfrey ended the campaign. Unvanquished and unbowed. Grace lost, tattered, and faded. Frolini. Elaborate on that. Is the cream filling just different? Is it not really a sandwich cookie, or in as much as just a filled cookie, or what about it? What's the difference other than one is Italian and one is American, and everything Italian is better according to certain individuals? Okay. Oh. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. I should change out my tears. Actually, let me just see what's in my flask right now. Got. Yeah, it's strength and dex, which is not what I want at the moment. Let's take... What? What's different about the texture, would you say? First Physic, we'll go for Intelligence and Faith. That should be good. So what is interesting is... It's hard to say, but I... At some point... Well, I, I also just don't have the fire boosting tier. That's right, I'd have to go all the way to Mount Gelnir for that. But I should be able to get this game's equivalent of power within today, which would be nice. Is there oh faded early flower? Okay, so so it's a crumblier cookie. Okay. Interesting. And I guess we'll kill that guy again. Tarnish golden sunflower. Tarnish. Tarnish. So is in. Pasta is in noodles or pasta is in paste. Oh goodness. Okay, so it's actually two hits. Interesting. Hmm. Or impasta like Among Us. Oh my goodness. Come on there. And there we go. Strong tax guardian garb. Okay, okay. That guardian garb. Grave golden garb. Guardians of the minor Ur trees. Ancient path of the Ur tree. Death's led not to destruction. New to eternal life is guardians. Okay. Huh. 
And what is... from where? What material am I even... Okay, it's that really flower over that way. Hmm. So many of these. Oh, that one, I believe, is a rotten Urgery avatar. That's interesting. So the rotten ones have scarlet rot on them, too, if I recall correctly. Oh, goodness. Come on. And I do not want to get poisoned. And can I... Luckily, that mist does not deal damage in and of itself. It just applies poison buildup. The land squirts had poison mist that dealt damage innately, which was pretty annoying. Feels as if there should be some catacombs or something around there, right? I would think. Come on. Thank you. So their jump attack took a while, too, so we're able to preempt that. And, ooh, that was almost falling to my death. Almost. Here we are at this monitor tree. Yeah, that... He's not necessarily a pro gamer himself. Well, the issue is, is that I saw someone say that specifically, and it's not even, it's not random at all. What he said is that he uses all the tools in the game, like weapon arts, spells, summons, the potion flask, etc., but it's not random at all. It's, he's just using all the tools that are available to him. It's not the same as just doing random things, it's exactly the opposite. Well, I'm, a, I'm aware, I'm just saying that it's... Also, the origin of that is from, well, most people on the internet are really, really stupid, but I'm pretty sure you know that already. And, oh, come on, oh, poison, you've got to be, I'm stupid, I'm so stupid. All right, hmm. and a bit more. Well, the, the original, the origin of that meme, if I recall correctly, was an edited version of a panel from the Marvel comic Moon Knight. And it was edited because... The character of Moon Knight got an adaptation recently, but that was because he got a bit of mimetic popularity due to completely inaccurate edits of the character. Just see. What I have right now is good. Take this, and... Hmm, this should be fine. Thank you. Oh, but we need to switch to... Come on. Good damage. Good damage. Can I keep my distance and just snipe this guy? Yeah, I can do that pretty fine. So, where is this? Just hide behind here. And oh, my... Oh, okay, I did not hide completely. Annoying. Thank you, and... Mm, that did not hit. Oh, we got some healing up at that message appraisal. I... feel a bit immortal. Thank you, and is that... Well, I may as well take that. It is one hit from death. So just one more quick little burst will do it, and there we go. Thank you, goodbye. Oh, but your projectiles are still going. Cool. I... Alright, thanks. Enemy felled. Oh, so I guess it doesn't die until that attack is complete. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, no, that's where we get flame shrouding. Yeah, increased fire damage. Green burst and... Boost fire attacks. And then... Stamina recovery speed. The fire one is good. That one is going to be very, very useful. So we got the magic, lightning, and holy ones all from one singular Erd Tree avatar over here in Lyurnia. The fire one was just off over here for some reason. You know, they can do what they like, I guess. So I... Right, this is... Starlight time. And then... Oh, yep, we got catacombs over here. Cool. Let's check over around this way. To see if there's anything else of note to obtain. Toxic mushroom right here, right? We got some from another cave, and oh, golem archer. That's gonna be interesting when I... I'm gonna save this part for Dragon Barrow. It's on the Dragon Barrow area of the map. This... Got here from Deep Sea for a... 
and Shifra, and that's the Caleb Coliseum. Getting the Coliseums is not going to be all that important, because I do not intend to engage in Coliseum PvP. I don't think I'm going to engage in any more PvP, actually. There... I use... Maybe once I get the Recusant Finger, which is just... Another way to get an infinite use tool. It's completely interchangeable with the bloody finger I got before. You can actually see the rocks at the bottom. That's cool. 15 correct pots. Max out at 20. So we can just go in those catacombs, past where that minor herd tree is. Well, we're right here. Go in and... Well, also, do I have enough for a... I do not have enough for a level. Now, level costs have gotten pretty high. Alright then, cool. So this is... Minor Urge Tree Catacombs. Well, you know, it... The name's pretty accurate. Question is, what kind of enemies are going to be past here? What are we going to find? Be wary of up. Oh, okay, so it's just... It's gonna be blunt. Oh, come on. Well, actually... Maybe it's just the fact that I'm wearing actual decent armor, but this is not really an issue, it seems. Okay, we got quality on here. with stamp upward cut. Should be able to get Lion's Claw today, which would be probably my best weapon art option on this thing. So we got our Starlight, and hello there. Hi, and slam. Didn't really intend to do with that, but it is nice to be able to stance break with a single jumping heavy. I heard something just drop down. Do not like the sound of that. Main thing is that now I remember we had a friend. Lever. Oh, I think. Uh huh, you have to drop down underneath the elevator. So that is finally the part where. Yeah, okay. There's more stuff over here that I'll go through first, but. Secret passage, therefore try lift. Exactly. This back up, right, we have to send it up using the button. Just right down here. Just right down here. And then, and then, and then. Hello, Imp. And can we... Ooh, well, that did not quite work. One. Oh, please, you're kidding. And... Thank you. Oh, okay. Hmm. Follow a lawsuit for anti-Italian goblin discrimination. Wary of... A good weapon art. The Lion's Claw Ash of War is arguably... The best in the game, under some definitions, I would say. And can we... Mm, well, at least we had Hyper Armor. Big thing is it deals a lot of really good stance damage while also having Hyper Armor. And it's relatively fast, too. It deals... And the same stance damage as this stomp upward cut, but it's much faster with a bit more damage. It's a better option, I would say. One, two. It's also literally just the Artorius flip from Dark Souls, which is also fun. Oh my, okay. Annoying. I thought maybe I should turn on some sort of auto lock option. Maybe. And how many others are here, if any? Well, whatever. Thank you, thank you. And I think these are the catacombs with the... Seems to be around here. With the two Erdtree Burial Watchdogs, it can make fight each other if you use Crystal Darts. And I have a bunch of those that I've just picked up from random loot drops, so... That'll be... That'll be the time. So then, there's another passageway... Then, hmm. Grave Glove War, and taking all on all at once, beware of Scarlet Rot. Oh, okay. Hmm. Amazing. And that is... Ah, uh, okay, so these guys are very weak to fire. Which means it's time to use fire. And, oh, nice, there we go. And, okay. Yeah, the charged version is better, and I thought I'd be able to hit multiple, I was wrong. Hmm, okay. Thank you very much. Glass shard, glass shard, and hello there. Thank 
thanks. Boom. Cerulean Tears, and I... Mm -hmm. You know, maybe if I had Flame Cleanse Me, this would be a bit easier. But also... Volcanoes. Who decided that? Was it you? Were you the organizer? And let's get this. Oh, and just one Aeonian butterfly for crafting Scarlet Rod inflicting things. And those are pretty hard to come by, actually. Normally, you can only... They're limited pickups in the overworld, so normally you would have to get them by farming them once you run out. But if you really want to inflict Scarlet Rod, you just use incantations, and they're better than other forms anyway, so... Oh, alright, I did not expect that. That was really, really tough. Come on. Well, it... It would be tough. No checkpoint ahead. Oh, but... Presumably the door would be down here, right? I think. Oh, my goodness. Well, it... The, a lot of slimes are quote-unquote jellies. So not all of them would necessarily smell bad, I think. I... Hmm. This frenzy burst instead. Oh, okay. Okay, so two frenzied bursts will take them down. Just trying to fight them in there is likely not a great idea. You know, given that we are in Kaled, I should have equipped Flame Cleanse Me. Basically as quickly as I could, but... You know, that's life. The one anti-poison and scarlet rot spell I got over in a year earlier before. It's really in tears. Okay. Well, it seems like a pretty interesting idea. I was actually, you know, I was expecting good things from you. Praise the crab. Hmm. Alright. It's just... Oh, are these... Are they rot crabs or death blight crabs or what? Huh. Cool. Thank you. Golden rune. Super white flesh. Let's keep on moving. Oh, wait. I didn't know there were volcanoes close to you. I mean, how far does the ash propagate, I suppose? And then up here is... Where you have left? Oh, hello there. Swing. Die. Okay, so what you're saying is that close or not, Etna would probably get ash on you. Okay, fair enough. I... Mm -mm. On going. A bit of... Oh, come on. One, two... Send like before you before you jump away. And any up here, or... Not that I see. Oh, wow, really? That's crazy. Imped Wolf. Largely unaltered head from an impish golem, resembling a wolf, trades amounts of blue pine endurance, so it would raise... Yeah, endurance. Plus five. Enriched. Okay. So then. Top area, Sacramental Bud. Fair. Well then, don't do renovations. We'll get dust everywhere. And one, two, two royals, great guavort, smoldering butterfly. And then, and then, and then we. Here, and any more imps, any more anything. Does not look like it. I guess it was just that sacramental bun, but this is the upper area of the spot we've been to before, so. This is a way for it to loop back around. Yeah. I did help take a take a ceiling down recently. So. Keep on moving. Hmm. Where else? Hang a right from here. Then, and then, and then. But we do have infinite stamina right now due to... Oh, and a glass shard from that. Whatever. Dude, not having an enemy nearby. Oh, and oh, well, all right. Great. Okay. Oh, and it... This thing is weirdly bony and sharp. Huh. 
Okay. All right. Thank you. Boom. Fair. It. Not sure you would enjoy it. And. Boom. Mm, okay. Well. You know, honest, honestly. Being being a Zhao Shelf self shipper is better than that. Better than being in love with bone wheels. Okay. So then let me just check. This is gonna be the weak foe ahead. This is Oh yep, we got Scepter and Sword. And it should be three, two, three, four, and okay, nice, that worked. And just Come on, come on, just three and ah, please. Oh, it's fighting. Which one is it fighting though? Come on, and okay, there we are. They're fighting each other now. Cool. Okay, nice. There we go. A, a, a Zhao self shipper. Nice and well, they're supposed to be weird and exaggerated. Like, how did they not damage? And Sorcery of the Krajir is hitting me now. Come on. So then I... Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I make this work again? Please. Please. And... Ah. Now that's working. Okay. Have to... How many do I have to do? Well, we used a lot of these. That's okay. And one killed one of the others, so... Now you're going to me. Alright, cool. And just one more hit. There we go. Mad pumpkin head ashes. Alright. We are. Anything else in here? Or Mad pumpkin head. Mad soldier with a large brawny physique. Stumbled his panic within the dark confines of his helmet. Rampages is a driven mad when agitated by bloodshed that he's pulled or triggered in the vicinity, humming of insects. Actually, specifically a reference, I believe, to the Swarm of Five spells, because it triggers bleed too. Soldier, all that is left of a broken gladiator. Praise the Erd Tree. Death required ahead. We want Erd Tree burial, I suppose it would be. Okay. Well, well, you did you did use the word boyfriend in conjunction with that character, so. I'm gonna level up real quick, and okay, right, now we have everything at 20. Exciting. So, in that case, we've gotten down around here. The only place to go would be around this way, so we'll go back to Smoldering Church and regroup. Well... Yes, but I think most people who do that are not unaware that the characters are fictional. But I needed to I need to take a bathroom break. I'll be right back.
Talking about Infinity Niki. We've had this conversation before. And but Bloodborne comparison is interesting. The big thing about it is that I like I said, I do think there's a meaningful sense. That I wonder if, you know, because some people have been asking the question, I don't, you know, I mean, I don't know about it. I mean, the big thing is that there was literally a perfume making web event on right now, which, honestly, not necessarily, but seems to have a conflict with, you know, the idea that in response to the fact that now, when there really weren't before, studios are making a high budget, high production value gacha games oriented towards a female audience specifically that Genshin might be trying to pivot more towards being an explicitly male oriented game instead of having to instead of trying to sort of hedge between the two in that let's take flame cleanse me that should be good it's time to daytime well it's only a it's only speculation based entirely around the fact that as of right now based on some dubious leaks there are only two male characters planned for the not one patch cycle that we know of yet based on those names which is not to say that's all of them because among other things you know presumably we're still getting capitano and maybe even varka and not one and the big thing is just generally they tend to group up male character releases with other male character releases and the other way around for female characters to try to, you know, get people to, who only roll for one or the other to sort of deploy their resources and then maybe have to open up their wallets. But it's, it's still too soon to say, but it's possible and it would make some sense. Okay, so we're just over here by the Rot View balcony. I've gotten here before. Okay. Question is... It would be a good way to take that crow down. Yeah, yeah, and that's... The big thing is just going to be how many we end up with over the course of the whole patch cycle. Because it is interesting. Yeah, I think a lot of people have forgotten at this point you know, how few male characters the Unizuma patch cycle had. It was... Though, to be fair, I think it's a bit unfair to disregard Kaza, given that he was an Inazuma character, just released very slightly outside the patch cycle. So it'd be Kaza, Toma, Goro, Ito, and then Heizo, and that's six, which is makes it about a one to three ratio, which isn't horrible. It's not amazing, but it's not horrible, horrible. And, okay. Come on. Oh my goodness, that range is not amazing. And then, you know, Sumeru had a bunch of guys. It was Sino, Tinadi, Wanderer, Alhaitham, Baiju, Kave. Actually, it's still just six, if I recall correctly. It's actually not that different. Well, if you're counting Kaz as part of Inazuma, I guess that. Kind of changes things, and then, so let me think. I mean, so, so generally, I think it's, it could reflect the continuation of a sort of one to two ratio. But we won't be able to tell for sure until the patch cycle is over, and at that point, well. Spontane, you had Winnie, Rathesley, Nuviat all grouped up, and then you had... Let me think. Oh, but there was also Mika, but Mika's Mika too, so. Yeah, Nuvia, Rathesley, Linny, Fremine, and then you have Gaming and Sethos. So, so generally, the ratio is going to be about 6 to 12 or something like that. Something like that. Which. It is what it is. That's the question is, I do still think there is a decent chance that Shibalanke actually ends up being a female character. 
which would blindside a lot of people and go against the leaks we received so far. But there, there are so many leakers who just completely make things up, completely fabricate things, that it's still possible. And the range on that being is bad as it is. It's something I need to be more cognizant of. Okay. Mm -hmm. The big question is just, we don't even know who or what. We're, we're really not. We're about halfway through, maybe. And it would only be the end of the first chapter, because they're not going to end the game until it's no longer profitable. You know, they, they've basically made a Honkai 3rd 2. Here's the thing, is that... Wh what do you define as close? Because there's Sneznaya, then presumably Conria and... Celestia probably is their own years. Sure, but that's... It's basically two-thirds. Two-thirds. You know, close for me would be three-fourths, or probably even four-fifths. Okay. For here we got more slimes. Hello there. Thank you. Mm. What all are we gonna get over here? It! The big thing, too, is just... Like I said... They're, for better or worse, they're not going to end the game until they absolutely have to. You know, it's, as long as the game is still profitable, to some extent, they're going to keep trying to put stuff out. There are plenty of other places that they could go to, I think. There is a decent past, I think, that they just go to the past. It. Other other people's reasons for engaging with fiction are not the same as yours. Thank you, and should we get a? We did get a flask out of that. That's good. Okay. Interesting. Okay. You know, beyond everything else, you know, in, in moderate amounts, crying is actually very, very healthy. It is one of the best ways the body has of getting rid of built-up stress. Because stress actually can be measured and quantified chemically to an extent. And when you cry, it gets rid of, gets rid of the chemical. Keep on going. We got more of those raw dogs over there. I think... What I want is for the ending of the story to be meaningful and make sense. Whether it's a happy ending or a tragic ending, it should make sense and be thematic. They, they shouldn't do an ass pull one way or another just because they think it would work better financially. Okay, and we got some soldiers around here. I think this is just going to lead back to Gale Tunnel. Yeah, oh, and we got more Radon soldiers around here. What is interesting is that... Even the giant dragon in... Dragon Barrow is still... Gives less runes and stuff in Altus. Would that kill you? Would, would you die? Okay. Real question. So this should be the way through Gale Tunnel. You would die of a broken heart. This is insane. I can't believe I have Lady Capulet from Romeo and Juliet in chat. Old Conjurer. Where of Pear. So wait. Ah, where of Pear. Didn't expect Bloodstain. Okay. One. 
And so. Okay, so. Oh, so I just have to drop down here. Red main circo. And that. Soldiers fought by Redon's side, Red Main Lion raising a sword in the image of Redon. Red Mains and all proven they were worthy of the name. It's that it's not as heavy. It's basically very, very similar to the other surcoats in the game. Logically the highest magic res is on Cuckoo, high spire res is on here. Highest Actually, these are the same holy resistance, which makes sense, because Renal is not a god. Yeah, because presumably people are just jumping down, getting themselves killed. That might be me, too. So then, uh, necessary item ahead, what is it? It was Liar. So I'm smithing, so not bad. Yeah, this is one of the more accessible areas in Kaled, so... Presumably people have gotten down here a bit earlier, just by whipping around, so it's... Balance around being just a little harder than Limgrave. Okay. Keep on going, but... Mm. Gale Tunnel, so Gale Tunnel, and then... A rear Gale Tunnel entrance. So I hear a number of dudes. Big thing is... Oh, so it got... Some soldiers as well as number of red maidens guarding them. The best way to take down these miners would probably just be a great glintstone shard. Alright. Cool. These guys are pretty weak to magic in particular. If I recall correctly. But, because like I said, the big thing is, is that if Genshin did decisively pivot to only trying to appeal to a male audience, I would probably have to figure out another game to play. Maybe. And... Keep on going. That nice quality infusion. Oh, and a smithing stone. Four. There we go. Well, the big thing about it is that there aren't a lot of Kirby games that I... Octopus for a jump attack. There aren't a lot of Kirby games that I haven't played already. That's the big thing. It's got a bunch of octopuses in here for some reason. Okay. Ooh, big octopus. Alright then. And, oh, okay, alright. We need to... Let's get our light back on. Cool, and... Mm, okay, and can I... Oh, please, alright. Oh, what was, what was that? Cool, and... Oh, nice. Let me... Critical, one, two, nice, there we go. Exposed flesh, very, very vulnerable to slashing. My Octopus Ovary, we'll keep this up for poking through here. Thank you! I was happy for that too. Number four, a cross Naginata. That three prong blade affects a long pole, it's a spear with slash. Closer resembles a katana. Man of Reeds, wielded as a spear capable of performing slashing attacks. That thing's actually quite good. It's got bleed buildup on a spear. If you can power stance those things, or power stance it with a... They can't power stance with Godskin Pure, because Godskin Pure is a twin blade, but... It's a good weapon on a number of builds. I think you would want to put blood infusion on it, but... I honestly don't think I'll really be using that stuff. Okay. Keep on going. And actually, how many... You no, know, I could level up my club. Uh, I'll kill the Magma Worm in here first. To get that done first. Thank you, and... Crystals for some reason. Gotta make sure that Red Mane right now does not see me. He seems basically blind. Okay. Ooh, alright. Well, in that case, we'll put our... Wait, Epe back on. It would probably be best to equip multiple of these things at once, but whatever. And, oh, okay. And the other one is not moseying over yet. And, okay, cool. Radon Soldier Gauntlets. Ooh, alright, I did not expect that. Can I get my club back on, or... Eh, I should just use magic. I should just be using magic. Thank you. And, ooh, alright. 
The question is, honestly, just... Would something like lightning or fire be better? And it is not. No, it's actually about, about the same. But, let me just see. The magic resistance is less, which is why even though I've got higher incant scaling than my sorcery scaling, the sorcery is still dealing about the same damage. Lots well, of crystal. Make more darts eventually, but don't think unless I run into another set of multiple eggs ahead. Well, that's nice, I suppose. Multiple or three burial watchdogs. It shouldn't make much of a difference. Just one stand through unending conflict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, saw that already. This back, cool. Oh, but since there's no skill on. That thing. Ooh, alright. Annoying. Not like that. Not like that. And... Thank you. Wait, are they... How are they breathing fire? Never mind. Some kind of flamethrower? I'm just glad that I can actually use sorceries somewhere and have them not just be useless. Next time I think I will might be, there's some Falling Star Beasts, which are about the same amount of weak to every kind of elemental damage, and their magic would be good. I think they just had a flamethrower or something that I didn't see. Sword and straight sword and a bolt. Hmm. What else is down here? It's one more Radon Knight. Do you not like flamethrowers or something? Actually... I guess. Hmm. You don't even like chili, do you? Or was it, wasn't that Doritos or something that you liked? Chili Doritos. Stone four. Large glintstone scrap. The race mimic. Explosive stone. Cracked crystal. Okay. Keep on moving. Sure, but what about chili chili? You are getting close, and yep, yeah, the magma worm should be just past here. Alright then, which means... I have a bit of a silly strategy for this. No luring out ahead. Yeah. Oh, th there he is. Where do you spring from? Dead end, I'm sure of it. Dwarf in thin air. Happen at sea, I'm certain to old. Kaywood Wilds. Fair, what kind? Head this way as well. Time is set off. Revenant Castle. Scar rotten blooded Coward Wilds. Heart of Flutter. Set off? Okay. Cool. The big question is what I want to use for this fight. I probably. Hmm, you're in that versus. 143 or so versus on the Misericord. 70 times. Mmm, the critical would. Criticals would still be strong with the club. That said, how much is this upgraded? It. Actually, what I could do is go back and do my upgrading now because, well. Just check what my stones are at. Eh. Because I can just go right to that boss chamber immediately. Because that boss is not, op not actually mandatory to get all the way out. Let's just go and upgrade my stuff, do a bit more direct comparison and see. So the Xeracord is going to be one of my best critical damage options, but I need to keep it reliably upgraded. Is the thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, your arms. Let's take this Xeracord. Keep leveling it. 73. Alright, and. Mm, I'd have to choose. Right now it's at 210, and then with that it would be about 210. 294 versus on. This thing. Still a bit better, but I honestly feel like using the Xeracord. Fair. Well, it... I don't know. I think it depends. 
But the Saint Trina sword over here. Got Mists of Slumber. Don't need any kind of... Oh, he should be gone right now. Oh! Huh. Interesting. Specifically? Wow. Hmm. So then, gotta mix our flask. There. Take strength knot and dexterity, and this should be good. Determination on here, we also got. Hmm. Honestly, I don't have it empty. We'll see what happens. We can just put. The slumber on here, we should be good, but oh, actually, I don't have flame protect me though, so. Wait, actually, no, I. Do I have fire fortification or something like it? Let me check. Memorize spell, and then. Don't need that on there right now. Let's take. Flame fortification. It, we shouldn't really be taking any hits, but even still. Let's just get. As much in our favor as possible before this fight. Is that the same annoying cousin as before? It is, isn't it? Okay. Here is our funny sleep sword. This thing gets slapped incredibly easily. Oh, the time on that though. Magma worm, hello there, hi. Big ol' sword, and cool, just... Alright, and... Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, thank you, and... Well, you... Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, alright, alright. Hmm. Let's just build up our sleep, and... Really, really, okay. Huh. Come on, you. Big thing is... These things are supposed to sleep pretty easily. I... Come on, you... Okay, did that do it? Did that do it? I... That did not seem to do it. Huh. I... Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. It doesn't scale with anything, so... What gives? Did they just... Change the way sleep buildup works with its thing, or... Oh, but maybe it... Now it should be going to sleep, and... Oh, there we go, cool. Oh, but it's only stagger, never mind. It's weak to sleep, but only sleep is stagger. So that's not what I should be doing by any means. Okay, makes sense. And what in the... God damn you! Go to hell already. Ah. Okay. So sleep does not actually help. Sleep does not actually help. It's only... Brief stagger, which does not actually meaningfully help me in any way. <sighs> okay. Means... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Use another rune arc. And then... Kill that stupid thing. Got our flask. Cast a few buffs too. Thanks. Thank you. It's not little at all, it's a dragon. Well, magma worm specifically, which is not quite a dragon. It's specifically a land-bound pseudo-dragon that is the remains of those who underwent dragon communion. Okay. And just, can we... Thanks, and... There we are, cool. And just take that, and where is... There we go, cool. And... Big hit. Decently big hit. Okay, cool. Take that, and can I... Slam and dodge? Can I... Mm, not a huge difference, and... There we are, cool. Thank you. And... Cool. 
We need to get in before we can... Oh, it's stupid up. What? And, okay, we got it. We got it. And... Really? Okay. Mm -mm. Whatever. This guy drops a pretty good weapon, actually. And... Slam. There we go. Cool. Just take this before we... Come on. Come on. Dragonheart. Nice. Great enemy filled. Dragonheart and a moon veil. Okay. Moonvale's a decent weapon. Blood loss build up, transient moonlight skills of intelligence, split slash magic damage, point stone, selling swordsmith, and reach the blade sheath, explaining its moonvale moniker or transient moonlight. Composed stance, normal strong, infant slash attack, fire off a wave of light. It you can make good use of that thing with the proper build, but it's really good if you have a build that works for it. But it's just, magic damage is just sort of a size, one size fits all. Elemental damage type. I have access to Holy Fire and Lightning Oak, which have things that are actually specifically weak to them, so I'll be okay. Well, alright then. Silly clear that out. So this will take me around Fort Gale proper, but... Eh. Let's get rid of this. Go back to the balcony. Work my way around here. Kill them ruins are okay. But it... What is interesting is it seems like this... It's a bit of a... I can't tell whether it's really a pathway or a... No, it's definitely a pathway. It looks kind of like one of those map name tags, frankly, but... Eh. I can't imagine it would be that. So then, I... Hmm. Giant crow over there. Let me see, let me think. Rotting, everything running, Scarlet, Earth, and Celia Town. Knife for us all. Let me... Try another spell briefly. These are all okay, but... Roxling in particular goes quite far. Use this to just knock this guy down and get rid of it before I go down to those ruins. And... Okay, cool. Get over here. Fall down and die. Oh, well, oh, okay. Huh. I was expecting not that. But, will this snipe... Mmm, that hits. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going to come to? Will this hit? Oh, wow. That hits. Okay. One more of these. And it... Okay. I'll take it. So this is another one of those giant crows over by... That's the ruin where I got the St. Trina sword, which... I guess might not be as useful as I wanted it to be. How sad. Ooh, it's destroying the... Oh, wow. Go ahead, destroy the ruins. Suit yourself. Question is... Is there anything in there that I might want to let it destroy? Okay, cool. And we got a flask back from that. Cool. It's actually, if I recall correctly, a pretty good early game of Rune Farm. If you have a bow that can take them out from a distance, but you have to be pretty patient to make it work, frankly, so whatever. Hmm. Go around here, see if there's anything else to find. That was... that... Preserving boluses. Okay. It's nice to have. That... Score Rot Build Up and Cures Rot Ailment. Cool, cool. And just cut down these rotten corpses, but I should probably take some kind of AoE. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, it might not be a one hit kill with even a fully charged frenzy burst, but. Puts it in range of a single slash, which deals almost no damage, because again, they rule it, they resist everything physical, but still. Let's keep on moving. 
over here is... Golden Rune. Oh, lots of you. Hello there. And... Slash and a giant rotting skull rot corpse. Okay. Some of the zombie enemies actually explode on death. Thankfully, these ones did not. So, what might be up top? Nothing up top here. Okay. Hmm. There's something here. Here. Hmm. Well. But, oh, and there, there's something. Here's something else as well. Something that just broke something. Hmm. Come on. Where can I find another? Oh, and okay, they dropped beast bones because presumably they ate one. Fun. And another big blast. Turn that down, and we should get. Huh? No? That was not a full group of enemies? Okay then. Fair enough. Hmm. Or maybe that one just does not give back any flask because it is right by side of grace and they've deemed it unnecessary maybe most likely frankly which would be true frankly okay frankly frankly this and your reward is an arterial leaf the funny thing about it is the big thing of meat you can craft with that is Arguably just a worse version of a spell with a really low faith, an incantation with a really low, really low faith requirement that we will probably get today. Which is funny to think about. So, all of these guys over here, I could try flame of, I do want to try flame of frenzy on them. I really do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Exalted Flesh, the 20% physical damage buff you get, you get gives you 20% extra physical damage for 30 seconds, which is the same as Flame grants me, grant me Strength, which is just a spell that also increases stamina regen and fire damage too, so it's pretty much entirely outclassed. No kidding. And I... Flame of Frenzy. Cool. I should probably take these guys down. If I'm in the area. And... Can I... Mmm... The homing was not enough. How sad. And will this hit the corpse? It actually bypassed that corpse. Nice. Thank... Oh, what? 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 Okay. Come on, come on. Keep on... Shooting. And the range on that is still just absolutely insane. I mean that in the best way possible. Charge and another one just shot and mm, okay. So no di no real difference was made. All right. Hmm. Question is just what can it break and out of anything these break? Is there anything I'd like them to break? Come on. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Just... The range... The range on Frenzy Burst... Is so good... That it honestly just obviates... The need for things like bows or any kind of long-range sniping, because you've got... Some that does the job perfectly fine that way. Well, you know, I can just torch you in a big group. Aim for the center. Thank you. Oh, goodness. How do I... Hmm. Come on. Interesting. Well, it... Most of them are dead enough that I can just mop them up with the sword now. Okay, cool. Oh, I, oh, I did not want that. Oh, they, they build up rot and it's not all that much. Okay, not even half a bar of rot. That's good. Fun enough. Let's just 
Shrug a couple of flasks there. The big question is there are the giant rot dogs around this way, so do look at them. That's another question. There's a big rotten dragon around here too, which would be interesting to fight. Hmm. It's Dragon Barrow. I bet I could reach Radon tomorrow. That shouldn't be too tall of an order of business. There is. Hmm. I hear a scarab somewhere. The question is, where is it and what is it going to give me? Hmm. I. I worry. How much we can deal with it? Frenzy burst, and... Okay, cool. Thanks. And boom. Alright, and now I have to... Oh, Whirl of Flame. That stream of fire. This is basically Fire Whip. Potency and Reach. We got those who get into it. Guardians of the Flame are also its worshippers. Fair enough. Let's put Blood Flame Blade on here and take down these... Giant dogs. God awful giant dogs. And... Oh, well, we actually... That's good. Can I... Mmm, mmm, well, I... Okay. That actually... What in the... Okay, I get the impression that they're hitting each other. I... Alright. Can I... Slash and... Move in. Bloodhound's finesse is actually exceptionally good at taking these things out. You know... Call it dog-eat-dog. The big question is, if we took those dogs down, I guess we could maybe try shooting those crows from a distance. That's an idea. Oh, they're high, and... Okay, goodness. Alright. All right. Cool, and... Okay. Oh, my goodness. Can I... One, two... Oh, okay. And... So we knocked them off balance. I guess the big question is... This might actually be a good place to equip some kind of gravity sorcery, because if I can pull them down from the air, I think that might stagger them to some extent in that. This is the Greatsword. Coarse Iron Lump of an Ultra Greatsword, utilizing its incredible weight, handling it surpasses the realm of the merely human processor. For this reason, use to slaughter even inhuman foes. Coarse Iron Lump. So that's basically... This is the Guts Greatsword, quote-unquote. And... I could actually use it. I've got enough strength. It's just... I don't really have much of a pressing re reason, reason to wield it, is the thing. Then... Oh, Rune Arc, not bad. Take that. Hmm. Kaled is still hard. It's supposed to be. But it is actually balanced for this point in the game before we go over to Altus. Which is interesting. It. Uh, it shows that the sort of sequence break of going to Kaled isn't even that much of a sequence break. It's just. It's not going to the six areas first. It's. Going to the third area second. Okay, let's... Try to take these dogs out. Can we sneak up on them in any way, shape, or form? Let's see. Do a fully charged heavy attack. And, alright. Oh, these things are very, very weak to stance. Interesting. Okay. Cool. There we go. Alright. Absolutely zero pity on these gigantic monstrous dogs. Okay. Fully charged heavy wolf stance breaks. We could use a critical for fun. There we are, and why not? One, two, goodbye. Okay. How much for? Still not enough runes for a level up. It's kind of crazy. I oh, and a random foot soldier. Okay. Hmm. What even are these guys? Thank you, goodbye. Hmm. 
paying attention to what I see right now. Hmm. Where and what? Hmm. This is where those catacombs were, so to ensure that go through everything and miss nothing without having to repeat myself. Oh, and okay, and this is... It's Old Man Roses again. Namesake of the Roses' Axe. The only reason I know his name. Here, oh, we got... If you... Oh, and right, because they're undead of a sort. Crawling out of the ground. And, fun. And a... Oh, a Mickle is Lily. Okay. Huh. One... Okay. Mm -hmm. I was... Running it a bit close. Two... Three, four, All right. Cool. Hmm. Come on, come on. Hmm. Okay. So they were overlooking the minor Erd tree, but there isn't exactly a way down there. I guess no, you could actually drop down by using that branch, but it it's silly, and we've already been there anyway. We don't need to go back. Okay, then. Got that greatsword over there. We got a rune arc, we got a spell, so now we're at four rune arcs. That's nice and all. Oh, so this is gazing over the pulse seen by that. by the great jar. See that golem archer down there, but. when we reach that from. Deep Sea for well, which to be fair, we already do have access to, but that is going to be sort of Dragon Barrel level difficulty, so I don't exactly feel like it at the moment. Oh, they they can aim at me from there. I would do well to not provoke them any further. Hmm. What else is over this way? And they are still shooting. Amazing. Good for them, I suppose. Something else is getting hit right now. Don't quite know what that is, and we can't pause right now. I mean, we can't open the map right now because the it's still tracking me. It's kind of kind of crazy. So what do I? Okay, now now it doesn't care about me anymore. This dog is too busy eating the corpse of. Is that another dog or? It's eating the corpse of another dog. Not only are these things disgusting, they're cannibalistic. Amazing. Okay. So, so, so. Hmm. This down here is, of course, just a way to Dragon Barrow, but we are not going there right now. Not really, no. So this right here, it's kind of hard to tell. Where things sort of begin and end around here. Hmm. So I... I have a bewitching... A couple of bewitching branches. That might be good for the mad Pumpkin King fight. I can't believe it! You found a dog that you don't instinctively like. So, then... If this was everything, okay. That would that actually would not insta kill me. I could make that drop if I really felt like it. But actually, I hmm, it's hard to say. I might want to go around here. Well, I think you should be beaten with sticks. Okay. So in that case, we got more dogs. Can just go around it. Oh, this one has red eyes. That is certainly something. So let's to hand this. See if we can stagger it in the same way as the other one, which is one fully charge heavy. It's a decent enough punishment. So that one seems to have a bit more poise. Huh. Okay. Big thing is we can explore this little ruin area maybe a bit more thoroughly without having to worry about uh, the crows. Hmm. Let's 
keep on moving and oh no there was actually another crow over there hello and one big hit Get down here and charge that up and oh interesting I okay They're almost always in counter frames of I how did I miss okay cool another and another cool okay fun it they would be a lot more annoying if I could not engage with them from range like I'm doing right now that is what I will say what is just a faded early flower or toxic mushroom couldn't even really see it well, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just blind. I think I hear a scarab somewhere. Might be losing it. So then, get a tree in his lily. There is. Anything else in here? Just where I got that sword, which completely failed to do anything of note against. That magma worm. There's really nothing that's actually worth immobilizing that you can actually immobilize with sleep. We're actually. There's a double omen boss fight later that might be worth using sleep on, and sleep would actually enable a free critical instead of just briefly staggering it. Because the brief stagger is just not worth it. Not really, no. Big thing is going to be the god skins. Once I start fighting god skin enemies, that is the one case in which sleep actually performs quite well, but it is really just the one case. I, I do hear a scarab somewhere. I do. So, where is it? Might be on top of one of these, or how am I going to? Oh, it's up there. Okay, cool. Let's just blast you and go for a quick hit. And can I? Okay, cool. That's just a somber stone, but it's not bad. Explosive bolt. It's sort of explosive stone. Explosive that in fact dealing fire damage. And this is... Yeah, this is right by where I went into Gale Tunnel, so... Okay, cool. Yep, yep. I have... Looped back around pretty successfully, but... Uh, these are not the Kalon Ruins. I mean, these are not... This is not part of the Swamp of Aeonia, but even still I'm... Oh, okay, well... See the... Redon soldiers fighting this giant dog. No, I am going to let the dog take take them down. Or I'm just gonna let this one play out. We got miners here. They deal a surprising amount of damage. They actually have more damage potential. They just have basically no reach. Oh, I am rooting for the mock. Oh, well, alright. Fun. And you don't see me, so I will just blast you. Okay. Cool. Oh, and there is a site of grace right by Fort Gale, too. Hmm. Okay. Alright, then. I think I'll activate that and then... Go over by the Kalem Ruins to do other unrelated things. Hmm. Frankly, if... Oh, and I think this is going to be... A rain of Arrows, maybe. Pretty good. Ash of War. Where is that Scarab now? Come on. Shouldn't be gone, gone. It just... Very circuitous path, it seems. Hmm. I... Some kind of AoE might be... Good then. I okay, can I mm hmm Okay, alright. 
need to see where I can... Ah, really? Okay. Wait until it... It's somewhere good. Honestly, I could use... With Frenzy once it gets closer by, and just cannot... Well, never mind, I... Okay. Didn't need to charge that. It's just... Run the other way, is it? Or... Can I... Can I... Can I... Mmm... Spam... Flame of Frenzy until... There we go! Oh, this is actually just Flame of the Red Mains. Interesting. And that... Fought alongside General Radon, powerful burst of flames, and a wide frontward arc, and that... That used to be the best stance-breaking skill in the game. And then they nerfed it really, really heavily. But for a while, it was undoubtedly the best way to break stance. Fort Gill North. Hmm. I... This is where I'm going to get Lion's Claw. Quite frankly, the sooner I get it, the better. Well, Amber wasn't even all that good. She was just actually usable. But even that was too much for them. And can I... Thank you. Boom. Hmm. Where are you? I, all right. Can I? Ooh, my goodness. Okay. Swing and ooh, nice. The, oh, come on. You, okay. Just dodge, dodge. Uh, gotta be kidding. Uh, two, two, two dogs. Come on. Oh, because it alerted the others when it. Oh, come on. I, okay. Can I? What in the? Uh, stupid. I, all right. And can I? Nice. And move in for. A, there we go. So good at this. And swing. What in the? Okay. Annoying. Dodge and swing and. Uh, you've got to be kidding, right? I cannot. Uh, big. And, the range on that is quite nice. Okay. Uh, okay. It's a big pile of. Coral like tumors, basically. Let's shoot these crows off. Thanks. And. Oh, alright. I did not expect that to actually get torrent. Thank you. Cool. Hmm. Could get a charge off. They are keeping their distance right now. And oh my goodness. So they're actually more, more vulnerable when they're on the ground, it seems. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, and that did not give me a flask back. Curious. Hmm, okay. Alright then. Let's see what... Should be at least one body over here. Oh, hello there. Hi. That smithing stone five? Oh, nice. And... Oh, come on. I... The timing on that is... Not great. Hmm. Time to charge. I... A Radagon Icon might be good for this. Let's actually go with Radagon Icon. That should put me at basically maximum. Oh, goodness. Do not like that. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. And I... Hmm. <laughs> Does seem to be helping to charge and... Is it even helping with charge? I can't even tell. Honestly, can't even tell. Okay, cool. And really, I... I just... You always want to go for the charge, but it's really ever something you can actually afford to do. And... Mm -mm. This is just a spell that takes forever to cast, frankly. I think that's the lesson I need to learn here. I... Mm -mm. These guys are premium. Fang fodder, I don't need to try it out. Oh, rot spit, amazing. More funny corpse blood loss, and actually a one, two, and how did that miss, that guy? Well, you know, I guess we can get a critical if we really feel like it. Cool. And oh, it's a big guy. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. All right, cerulean, and 
seems... Hmm. Big crow over there is... Going to ruin me. Should be a couple more over there, but... So when does this actually count as a group and give me a flask back? That's my real question. Also, Kalem Ruins might actually be a chance to get... Might be a chance to... Actually get a plunging attack off on... One of the fire chariots. Those big flamethrower tanks. Which would be fun if I could actually manage it. Question is... Let's just see how far... Away... And, uh, it doesn't have much homing potential, is the thing. Okay. And you can get on there. Okay. Cool. And, ooh, alright. Amazing. And, hmm. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. That back. Get this back. Even if it might take forever to charge, the range is really good, and it also is just literally an eye laser, and there are a bunch of arterial heaves, which I suppose it makes sense that, yeah, swollen veins, that there's something sort of animal about them, given that you know, all of this is very much, looks a bit like coral, but it, it's supposed to have a fleshy aspect to it, it's... You know, it's basically, you know, what if land could have cancer? So I run, let's put this back on. Getting close and get a blood pounds finesse off on this thing. And, okay, cool, thanks. Mmm, can't really hit that in midair. Okay. One, and. Two. Good. If you can get the jump on them, that is. Okay. This is Golden Rune 9, and. I've seen that description. Cool. I've seen that already. So, what then, when, and where? It's down here, is around the ruins. Way to Fort Gale. So I think, yeah, I'll go through Fort Gale, then go down in this area of Kiln Ruins. This is over a bit of swamp, so that should provide a bit of a natural delineation, hopefully. We'll see. Or at least we do have this pathway to do that for us. Hmm. Yeah. So Fort Gale is another one of those guardian lines that... I fought over in Stormville Castle. Actually, use this wall as well. I think I will. But I, I'm on the other side of that wall, though, so... Maybe never mind. Maybe. Got soldiers in there, so that's time for piercing. Oh, well. Oh, and a Radon Knight. Okay, interesting. Thank you. Thank you, and... Hmm. Oh, and they're using Lion's Claw, because that is their skill. Got a bunch of mini Artoriuses in here. How exciting. And, but, oh, since they have... That's their deal, they can use it, basically, as just an attack, because they also have some weapon skill, like greatsword attacks on them, too. So then, what would be in here? What can I get? is... Okay, and just two slumbering eggs. Well, you know... It's not nothing. There was a pumpkin head down there. I think that might be the giant skull in Caleb. It's by Celia. Yeah, there are these... Uh, Caleb has this giant skull. She doesn't really have any specific information as to what it actually is. But what's interesting is that in earlier builds of the game, pre-release, there were big skulls like that in a number of places. They were maybe not everywhere, but a lot of places. 
And then, hmm. I'm moving. It's an item down here that I might not be able to reach from there. No, I definitely could have jumped up back up here, but still. Somber smithing stone, and that is another rot swamp. Hmm. Need another five stone. The last one we got was from Sifra. Or Shifra, or whatever. All I know, it's supposed to be Irish as a name. I think Bly's name is Welsh. Don't quote me on that. Close by, a hail of arrows should be starting. Let's see what happens. Using this wall as a delineation should be good. Down here is. Actually. Is Jail Cave down here, or is that something different? Are there two caves in here? Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. I think getting at least over this way, and then... Celia, the actual Swamp of Aeonia, and... Redmain Castle could be tomorrow? There's also the desert, but the desert is mostly empty with just some items to pick up. So, hmm. Chariot and oh, hello there. Hi. Hi. Let's go over and. Oh, we kind of stopped that. That's good. So it seems they have to complete blowing the horn in order to actually get the enemies to wake. Which is funny because you would think that the horn suddenly being cut off would be more of an alert, if anything. Well, I will not complain about the stupidity of my enemies. It is only a boon. So... Hmm. Keep on moving, keep on moving. This might be over here. There was that one camp from before, but we got that, really. It's up there with the crows. It does! Especially since my job is to kill them. What is, it is interesting that whenever the skulls that drop tiny runes, they specifically glow in their eyes, which, you know, part of it is that is the only real empty spot that it could come out of, but also, grace is supposed to be present in the eyes of characters, enemies, individuals, so it makes sense. Okay, a brass shield, and can I... Two, three... Okay, nice. Here we have our fire chariot. Smoldering butterfly and a mushroom. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Okay, cool. Come on, come on, and... What can I... One, two, three, four, five... Cool. Goodbye. I maybe could have jumped onto there. Well, first I do want to rest at this side of the race. Get one level out of this, which would be nice. Okay. Love and get the dexterity off. That's helpful. Cool. Hear a sort of rune ticking down sound there, which was cool. Which means we need to take these guys out again. Fun. Stab. Stab and oh, all right. Thank you. I, okay, fun. Not really. Hmm. Okay. I we got more red mains in here, and I. Hmm. Question is, if I go around and maybe try to get the jump attack off. Hmm. What is interesting is that the fire chariots are a fire monk thing. That it's just fire monks being allied with Dawn soldiers, and you can see they've killed some of the dogs there, which is nice for us and them. Okay. Cool. Stop again. Then is... Who is on which side? Oh, there was another Redon soldier. Thank you. Can I... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's see if I can jump down and stab that thing. Hello there, hello, and stab. So nice. Is this anything, or... I don't think so. Thank you, and another stab. 
the smoldering butterfly, and and oh well, we messed that up too. A double slash. Really are quite talented. So let's just there we are, and the whole thing is gonna blow. Fun. What if I'm close? Oh well, I oh. It's just instant death. Alright then. Cool. You know, I had a hunch about that. It was all for the sake of science. I wanted to see if it would kill me. If it was survivable. The answer was no, but now I know. It was a learning experience, that's what it was. And I do mean it. Okay. Gotta get away as quickly as possible, and this thing will now... Blow up and kill everything around it. There we go, cool. Oh, but it... Huh. Maybe I'm just less durable than the enemies. That is almost certainly the case. Oh, well, oh, you got your Flame of the Red Mains, too. Okay, uh, how did that not connect? What, 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 okay. Come on, come on, I, okay. Then we... Stab. Stab. Hmm. I should just actually look up all the sites of grace where Melina actually has something unique to say. So that I know when I can afford to keep going and when there's dialogue I want to see. Okay. Which one's pull? Redon Gauntlets and... Okay, cool. Ooh! Huh. It's a bit tougher to dodge than I might have expected. Don Soldier Greaves. Yeah, but it's just Soldier Greaves, not... Cuckoo Knight Greaves and... Heaviest armor that I can wear without overloading myself is generally going to be my best option, so I... Okay, then. Thank you. Die. Got a few more of these guys. Oh, and... Oh, there we go. We finally got the attention of Gravity Arrow Guy. Cool. Then... Stab and... Okay, so this is where it stops, more or less. Okay. And this way. And I get you kind of go around the side in order to avoid him. That's good. Oh well. Thank you. Well, you see me already. So now he's going for single hits. Alright, and oh, alright. Firepot. There's also a red main firepot. What is interesting is that. Fire is unique in that there are two kinds of throwing pots that use that damage type. There are red main flame fire pots that deal fire damage, but also just there's a giant's flame pot that deals fire damage, scaling off of faith. It's interesting. I hear a scarab somewhere. Oh well, oh well. And sub. Uh, Stab again. Well, there isn't really much of anyone left, so. Scarlet Tabard. Scarlet is a rod, or. Oh my goodness, okay. How did that miss? To die. Thank you. One, two. Scarlet Tabard is. Telltale stains of. Yep, stains of Scarlet Rot. Full soldiers in Radon's army. And can I. Running attack, and okay, so that's actually a pierce. Running attack is still pierce damage. And it got a bit darker because that's gone now. Okay. Hello then. Hi. And. Dodge, and the tracking on that was good too. Alright, and oh, okay, I did not intend for that. And kill. Should get rain of arrows, I think. Anything from that? Well, no, actually. So, presumably, I think the skill should be from the scarab around here, then. Threw it up there. Explosive Great Bull. Great Bull, clump of shards, orc explosion, and fire damage. Okay. 
Then we stab again. Cerulean. Smoldering Butterfly. Some Crimson Tears. And, okay. Okay. Oh, it's just... It's actually just Crimson Tears. Okay, then. And you fell down. Alright. Thanks. And that's what we got. But... I would think that Rain of Arrows would be somewhere in this vicinity. What I do know is that there is a good spell around here. Let's see. I think I can kind of see Super River well over there, but... It's cool to see Wimgrave from the other side. Hmm. Can't really go around back like this, but... I think I can, actually. Let's see. That's where the... Oh, but opening that is... That didn't really do much, did it? Okay. Uh, ooh, we almost fell. That was bad, nearly. Get inside the castle this way. Alright. One, two. Back set would frankly take too much time. Then we... Oh, there we have it. Another fire tank. Thank you. Let's just horse our way out of here. Thanks, 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 and can we... And barely any damage taken there. Amazing. So, let's just go back around and see if I can't... Get another jump sab on that other fire tank. So I suppose when they have multiple in an area, that's when they'll actually give you the opportunity to... Plunge them. Makes some sense. Something is doing it damage right now. Okay. If I can lure it, if I can lure it over here. Oh, it's burning, it's burning those zombies for us. That's fun. It's not the fort proper, though. Hmm. Oh, come on. I think Flame Cleanse Me is going to be in the middle there, if I recall correctly. And, oh, but right, they don't take hardly any damage from that. 451, and Great Gwynstone is... It's... It's gotta be lightning. I hate to say it. Hmm. And over that way, let's actually just use... Frenzied Burst to aggro it. There we are, cool. Get over here. Get over here. We get you to... Hmm... Oh, but it's focusing on those enemies and slowly just barreling through them with that. That's silly. Can I keep shooting at you, or how am I going to get you to go to a spot where I can blast you? Good thing is you can't really aim up. Yeah, oftentimes, not as often, but... In terms of range options, it's good. So can I... Can I... Oh, okay, so I did... Did sort of home me in a little. There's a bit of margin of error there, so... Run out of the way, and thank you. Alright. Oh, well... Now you're exploding, too. Fun. Okay, well... Number of things to kill here, but all of them are going to be things I want to kill with. Bloodhound's Fang, Fire Blossom, and can I get... To get up a little, but I can get that. Okay, cool. Oh, that was also almost death. I feel lucky in a weird and bad way. Flame grant me strength, and this is incredible. Spirit Incantation of Fire Monks, only 15 faith, though. Okay. Is the case still on? Fire Affinity does not burn the caster forbidden by the Guardians of the Flame. Two. Mm -hmm. Got that. Oh, so they should be done now. Hmm. Is one of the spells I want. Sick of damage buffs. It's a good one. But I don't have it equipped right now, and I'm not going to keep it equipped. Hmm. Okay. Let me go in. See what's up. Hmm. Go back in, drop down to take out. 
Well, I guess the big thing is, is if the issue is overheating, and it's probably the case, you don't have to... You can put the case on before you go to sleep. You can put it back on. And then take the case off while you're doing stuff with it if the phone cannot do things without overheating. It's an idea. I mean, if, if you just want to go to sleep, that is... You have that liberty, but if it's... It's a solvable problem, I think. Hopefully. So, I... Well, okay. Come on, come on. Can I... Slam! Okay, well... Alright. Do as you will. How do I get over there, though? What a drop down I can make, or... Warming stones? That's... That's not new, actually. Okay. I've had those before. I can get down here, but... What would I get? Oh, I... Okay. Cool. Let me... Actually put... F.A. back on, then. Gonna be fighting some soldiers. And... Can I... Oh, I did not mean to do it like that. Okay. Whatever you decide to do, just want to make sure you were aware of all of your options. I don't think anyone particularly minds one way or the other. So then I... Oh, hello there. Hi. And... Okay. One. Two. And this... Taking these guys out is so easy. You, you, you saw me go through Redman Castle and have trouble with these guys, but just being able to actually use weapons with the actual stagger, it just makes it so much easier. So screw to heirloom and that. Nice. Seen engraved from a heroic tale, raise a strength, mighty seer of the demigods. Okay. In front of the falling stars alone, that city crushed that in his conquest, sealing the very fate of the stars. Convene the festival of war. Honor General Rodon, the warrior's glory in your hands, Sir Jaren. Okay. In the end, it... I think that is as good a sign of any, that... A new phone is probably necessary, eventually. Okay, cool. Good luck. How do I... Think over here, or... Oh, right, this is the lever that opens up. The bottom, okay. Can make some things easier. It, eventually you will have to, whether you want to or not. There are limits to things that can be repaired and eventually apps will stop supporting old hardware. You know, it's, if you need to spend on yourself, it's okay and even good. Spec City and... Oh, a Qatar. Oh, like the city of Qatar. Okay. Port of Daggers on rather unique handle. Something about an extension of a fist. So it's a fist with slash and pierce damage. Spec City. Yep. That's a very good fun. And let's put on our... We don't need the Misericord on right now, do we? No, not really. It's actually... Heal up. Take this. Physic Flask. Why not? It's annoying enough to fight. Special Vitality. And then... We should be good. Oh, but also... Blood Flame Blade. Oh, that thing is trying to hit me. Okay, cool. Hmm, alright. And... Slam, and... One, two, and, oh, okay, all right, and, and dodge, thanks, and, d oh, all right, can I, thank you, there we go, nice, Ash of War Lion's Claw, that is pretty amazing, heavy affinity, following skill, skill that remains who fought alongside General Radon, some are stopped forward, striking those with armaments, swords, axes, hammers, small armaments, and thrusting swords accepted. And that can be put on almost anything. It's only better the heavier the thing you put on it is. Oh, a rune arc, nice. Okay. I think you can get 
maybe even multiple over by the Kayla Divine Tower or so. That'll be nice. Use the chest over there to go to Red Main Castle for fun, I suppose. You already had the teleport by Impassable Grey Bridge. Over this way, and then we go back to Kale and Ruins, presumably. Did get this done, but can't use that on ladders? Can't use the map on ladders? That's weird. Okay. Fair enough. Use that as a drop down if you want to go down there without just sliding down the ladder. But I guess maybe that's for invasions, I suppose. To escape more quickly. Hmm. All this over here. Yeah, probably Decaying Exaki's Cathedral Dragon Communion. There are a number of things I do need to deal with in here. Oh, whatever. At a location. Yeah, then that's a place I've been. Guess I could use it as an opportunity to take down a few. Oh, but it's the other side of the Impassable Grey Bridge. But I have no intention of going to Remnant Castle right now. Hi, okay. Alright, alright then. I work on that hide and stay away. When are they going to forget about me? Okay, there we go. Good. So then, back to the Kaelin Ruins. Fire tank there and a couple of mad pumpkin heads, but I... It's a duo if I recall correctly, which means it might be a good opportunity to use a bewitching branch for something of actual note. But then, these are the... These renowned ashes, or...? Hmm. Interesting sorts of... I guess they're kind of in tears. But because... That one's good. Did I get Oleg again? I think it was... Hero's Grave, if I recall correctly. Hmm. But I can't use the scepter, and I can't use... Hmm. Okay. Oh, I can't use the scepter, and I can't use her spell. Hmm. I... Yeah. 3 out of 10. Unallied gold craftable item. Temporary ally. Feel such affection. Okay. Hmm. Go down to wherever the quick fight is going to be. Get one now. Oh, right. We should use Flame Grammy Strength. Yeah, I should put that back on there now that I have the opportunity. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Well, maybe I could just be silly and go get Golden Vow now, too. Uh, uh. Big thing is, I don't need this anymore. I don't need heal anymore. Put on. On Grammy Strength. Honestly, yeah. We go over, but oh no, if I. The Dectus Lift. Go up without activating anything in Altus, and then just go over to Gelmir and. Take out Anastasia Tarnish Eater a second time to. That would give me Golden Vow, if I recall correctly. So. What do I... Let's go to Vigor. That is a good option. Go up again. Another quick trip to Altus. And you can't do it while on a horse. Kind of sad. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Also, I should definitely put... <sighs> definitely put Lion's Claw on. My curve great quote before I forget about it. Maybe even use Lost Ashes of War to make it another, but eh, Probably not, really. We'll get our map. 
have it sooner than later. There we are. Lanedale, and I could actually go in Lanedale anytime I feel like. I just don't feel like it. It's not right now. Lanedale Soldiers, Lanedale Knights. Let's get over to Galmir, over to Anastasia. Second encounter. Be a great way to increase my strength even further. And then, there by that church that I've already been to. Second Church of America, but oh, that—that that is the end of Yura's quest line. That's right. Well, I. Hmm. A bit farther up. That's the cell over there. Oh look, a bunch of couple of nobles again. Hello, still incredibly weak. And that connected, nice. Urba. They actually formed their sword, but it's. Very, very rare. Altus Plateau, and... Gertrude's base can be found. Royal capital of Landell to the east. Mount Galmir to the west. Scars from the Shadow remain apparent to this day. Altus, and it would be... Up around here that I would get to... Galmir. Presumably. Hmm. I want to go there quickly. So the road is broken. Can't actually use it to get to Gilmir. But I just need to remember to not activate a side of grace. Changes the state of Redmain Castle. Be funny if I did anyway, like an idiot. High chance of that, really. But I, this should be way down. Should be. No damage even. Is really finicky. Okay, and that's Mirage Rise, I believe. So then I get down there. And that is where Yura is. Should be. Eleonora should invade. Oh, maybe that. That was Violet's. Violet Bloody Finger. Okay. Up, we go around, avoid the wolves. Get nice spell. And yep, this is actually where I wanted to go. Flame Grammy String combined with Blood Flame Blade should be useful. Grammy Strength, Blood Flame Blade is right after. Just gotta you know the order in which to buff in. Number of those, we will avoid those. I have no reason to fight them in the moment. Really, even in general, but... You know, when I go through there, it's it's all about being thorough, you know. And luckily, when you're on a horse, you can just... Stay out of their way pretty easily. The giant... Multiple giants just strung up. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Thank you. And it... A fully invested intelligence build with... Comet was dealing a similar amount of damage. It's ridiculous. How magic in this game is... This never gets anything. Okay. Shouldn't invade around here. Oh, but I think... Is this... Actually... No, no, it's just right there already. Okay, cool. Thank you, and... Move in. Nice. Alright, cool. Big damage. To get out of here, we need to get out and move Oh, well, the blood loss did it. Exciting. Okay, cool. Didn't even hit me. Sacred butchering knife, but it doesn't even have an ash of war on it. Okay, cool. Well, got what we needed. Go back to Kalem Ruins. Exciting. Sacred Butchering Knife, Barbaric Roar, Queenly Butcher the Human Body, Ogress Anastasia, Countless Tarnus, well, disguised as a Finger Maiden, probably Kijo in the original, which is not really... It can mean a lot of things. It isn't necessarily a species thing. 
Mm, butcher. Small amount of HP. When it squarely strikes an enemy, Rotary Worship, and yep, I can use that. Attack pattern, defense for caster and allies. Continue praying, delay activation. So the Royal Cap of Generation, Knight sent on Dixon Expeditions. Lean on it as a source of courage. And yep, we have a lot of, lot of damage now. A lot of sources of damage. Let's actually just rearrange things around how I'd like to buff in order. Flame Blade is actually the least important, I would say, and from there on, it's just about doing things that I... Well, that... Hmm. It's better than Bestial Vitality, but... There's only so much time we can buff before a fight. Blessings Boon. Blessings Boon. How long? How long? That for 90 seconds, actually. Okay. 720 HP total. So it's arguably better than Bestial Vitality. Let's see. Vitality. That. 605 HP per second. That compared to Blessing. Blessing's Boon. 8 HP per second for 90 seconds, so it's faster. Okay. It's kind of better than Bestial Vitality with more FP cost. Okay, interesting. So, get my buffs all in order. This thing's Boon. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow, Flame Grammy Strength. Good stuff. Flame Blade's really good for Rot in here. So it's a nice option for dungeons, and Terra Magic is an interesting idea, but I don't really need it. And beyond that, it's just magic, I guess. Go for Frenzy Burst, and then Lightning Spear, wherever that is, right here. Then Great Glenstone Shard. Actually, what has the most requirement out of hmm, out of anything actually worth using? That honestly, Cannon of Hyma. That could work. Highest wreck I've got right now. Then, but the Ark though, that might be an issue. The final one could be yeah, Starlight. Well, we got two sorceries equipped. It's kind of funny to think about. I want to see real quick is Canada Hyma. Can you aim this? Well, you actually can aim it pretty. It's tough, but it can be aimed quite well. Hmm. Okay. In that case, we have all of these we want to put on before the fight. Okay. Find our way in. To do that before anything else goes on here. Go then and cannot go down here and cool. Sneak down before it. Well, it won't be able to see me. That was the thing. Should be good. Worry of pair, right? Okay. And spot flame blade. Golden vow. Flame grant me strength. And yeah, this is how it works now. A lot of there already, so use this bewitching branch and can I There we are, cool. Nice. And we Oh what? Alright, thanks. Now they're Well, maybe they aren't fighting with me. That's sad. Okay, can I one and oh my goodness, that damage is actually pretty ridiculous. Okay, cool. Oh my okay. Wow, alright, and can I What in the Okay. Bewitching branch is not worth it. But the buffs are incredibly potent. Okay. What I should do is just focus fire one of them. No point to trying the branch, especially when it seems that I actually can use multiple to make it work. Well, good thing we've got a few rune arcs in storage. Yeah, just. Bloodhound's finesse for damage is quite good. 
actually very, very good. I wonder if that death wanted to go down. Interestingly enough. Okay, cool. Sing Spoon. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow. I might actually want something like Old Lord's Talisman then. Maybe. Either way, this fight should not take long. As long as I'm smart about how to do this. And one. Two. Three. And there we are. One is already down. I dodge. Can I Thanks. And okay, cool. Slam. And okay, alright. And another quick kill. And there we are. Cool. Let's just get this. And nice. Take. And we fell. My runes are right here. Okay. Cool. Nice. And nothing immediately. Huh. Okay. Go ahead and oh, luring out. Time for calmness. It's just with all those buffs up. It's just ridiculous. No door ahead. And then Visage Shield. Okay. Oh, probably wearing out one by one. This is defeating the chariots one by one. Tricks and bronze shield, depending in the face of a fire giant. Several tongues, tongues leap from its open mouth. Dreadful visage, burning flames, remind one of the horror facing a fire giant. This shield has an instructional function. It's a fire, ready the shield, bow and justify from the tongues protruding, continue spraying, use while walking. Cannot use that yet. Okay. <laughs> Move around. Okay. What kind of rune could I use to maybe get closer to another level? Ah, okay. Watch for a 414. Alright. And we. Let's use two of them. Another level of something. Okay. It's just. Kind of insane. How much just damage I can do when I focus fire specifically. Take. Mm, but endurance isn't all that useful when I don't have a lot of. Don't have much heavier armor that I would particularly care to wear right now. Hmm. Royal Remains would work in terms of something that would get me close, but not over the edge. But it just looks so hideous with the remainder of my armor that it's weirdly hard to justify it. Which is a war, and put it on our quality curved great club. We will get Lion's Claw. How exciting. Quality's good, neither of those are especially useful. Okay. Hmm. Next time there's something that's somewhat weak to strike, we'll just tear it up with. Well, smash it to pieces with the lion's claw. Question is, is there a way that I could get on top of here to probably it's painstaking. Bet I could do it though. Oh, well then, hi, and two, three, and oh, we actually managed to score a kill before. It's exciting. One, two, three, and two, three. Wow, okay. Cool. Hmm. And if I. Hmm. How could I get. Plunging attack I want. Is this gonna be high enough? It's probably not going to be high enough, and can I... No, it is! Okay. Interesting. That's cool. These ones are a bit stronger than the ones from... Fort Gale. Okay. Smoldering Butterfly and a Fire Blossom. Fun way to do it. Did Mushroom on... Wait. Huh? They were just corpses with no... Okay, cool. One... To, I think they have a bit more resistance when they're in exploding creeper mode, maybe. One. Okay. Hmm. 
That's interesting. And there you are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, cool. Hmm. Take some of this, use a sign when we need to. Oh? Too close. Close to that wall. Okay. Interesting. Oh, then. Oh, hello. One, two, and they're just coming out of the ground. Big thing is, I'm not sure they actually count as undead for the sake of stuff like what need a proper death. And drawstring fire grease. Okay, cool. Thank you. One, and can I? One, two, three. Four and oh well, all right. Okay. Hmm. It might not be a real compelling reason to actually take all those corpses down, but it's fun. I actually enjoy the experience. Kiln ruins were what I use as my sort of side delimiter. This is going to work. This should work. Come on. And, okay, cool. Well, not if that happens. Okay. Alright, and can I... Mm, mm, mm. Alright then. Time to heal. Let me... Were you over to a point where I actually can hopefully make the... Plunge on you. Okay. Get over this way. Get over this way. Oh, that... Oh... That's interesting. That was actually destructible terrain. And I cannot... I... That did not work in the slightest. Okay. Try this again. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, explode. Thank you. And... Go on in and... What can I... What? Alright. So they've always got the critical point glow. Okay. Thanks. Run in. Oh! What? That, that hitbox got me. Funky. I don't need to be married to this. Okay. But. Well, do I? Honestly, I might. Oh, that's funny. Actually stunned it out of its own explosion. Can I, can I, and there we are. Cool. Okay. Then we run. Thank you. And still not great. Okay. So many of the enemies here just explode. It's honestly very funny. What else is there even in the Kalem Ruins to get? That's the big question. All these smoldering corpses for some reason. Yeah, there wasn't even a fire, it was just a mass of more corpses. Funky. Okay. Alright. Thanks. And in... Hmm. Oh, there you are. Hello. Let's see if we can use this as a... Point. It might just actually go straight through it, is the thing. And yep, it mostly destroyed this wall. Amazing. Okay. Cool. Come on. Come on. Get in close. Need to get to a point where I can actually. Oh, but the double jump always moves you forward, at least a little. Huh. Okay, that is interesting. Oh, so the appearance never changes. But it can actually successfully block the fire. Huh. Big thing is, it seems as if I will not be able to actually get jump attack on here. Circle around until more of this ha Oh, what? Oh? It works as a backstab? Oh, wow. Okay. Thank you. That was new and interesting. 
Hello, big old flaming zombies. I will kill you. Okay. One, two, three. Mm, but will the fire go out once we kill all the zombies? No, it will not. Okay. Lots of melted mushrooms for some reason. Three great dragonfly heads for crafting boluses. That's actually pretty nice to have. Okay. Let's go on the other side by this wall, and then it's all this over here by that overlook. Okay. You can talk over here again. Okay. Your fingers. Oh. Festivals are flowers. Grand festival make the stars soon. Heart and butt of a flower to be. Do we enter heart of the skull? Wrong. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? We can follow the burning wall to some extent. The question is. What was this wall actually built to hold back? Because if it's burning, maybe some sort of perimeter to partially stave off the rot. So the swamp is quite plainly the worst of it. But I... This is enough of an encounter, I think. I may as well go for as much strength as I can get. Did I? Okay. I messed that up. And flame, grant me strength. Please do. Flame, please grant me strength. Okay. And if there are three dongs over here. Oh, Alright. Oh, okay. Nice. And... Oh. Wow. Okay. That it's basically a one-tap. And... Mm, dodge. It cannot... Heavy. And another. There we go. Yeah. Cool. For any encounter of any real significance, it's just... All I gotta do is buff. It's that simple. Okay. It... Does chew through FP like nothing else, but it's... What else am I going to use the FP for? Really? Oh, alright. Just... More dogs over there, so... It's just... Blessings Boon back up, or not. The Flame Blade back up. Longer to switch than I like. And... Flame grant me strength again. Another Flask. Okay. Cool, and we just go down, and can I... Oh, alright, thanks, and dodge it. Can we... Slash, and... Alright, cool. There we go, and... Mm -hmm. Dodge it, can I... Ooh, or, okay. Sling and go in for that and dodge. No, okay, uh, alright, thanks. One, two, and okay. Three. That was close. Okay. Hit. Blessing's Boon is interesting, but the chance of it making a real difference is minimal. And this is where it turns into Dragon Barrow, so. Basically, that is not where I want to be right now, then. Thank you. Buffs are always nice. Okay, and all of them are rot zombies, so... Cool. One, two... Oh, I... I don't even think I remembered to put on my... Flask when I did that Mad Pumpkin head fight. That would have made it even more of a stomp. Okay. Thank you. And since Flask is the quickest, I mean the longest lasting, at least with the tiers that I currently have equipped, that's the one I should pop first. Let's do my buff routine, like I'm showering or something. Okay. Keep on going, keep on going. Oh, then how? Hmm. That over there is, okay, another crow by the Kaelin Ruins. Huh. Well then. You know, I want to see how much Blood Hunt's Finesse would do to it with my buffs up. Let's try this. Spiel the go. 
Ah, and yep, if you hold it, it's you back to the first, so. That's the start of the buff routine. It's good to have that on first. So let's find a spot. Cool. Put flame blade. And golden down. Oh, you. Okay. Amazing. I was not expecting that. And I, that's stupid. I dodge. What in the. Okay. It's not expecting you to be able to see me. Okay. One, two. Oh, come on. Die, die. Goodbye. Okay. It's. One way to make that work. There, yep, there was an item that looks to be of some value. Just say, okay, a sacramental bud, whatever. It, well, you know, it's confirmation. You know, slowly getting more and more runes over time for the sake of general strength and... More materials used for something eventually. That said, it... I'm not even sure what the sacramental bud is actually good for. Toxic mushroom, whatever. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's the ruins where we already were. The question is, I just want to see how much difference AR-wise chugging that flask actually makes. 388 and it's now at 443, so it's a meaningful difference, but it's not actually incredibly massive. It's honestly comparable to the other buffs, because it's about a 1 8th increase to damage. The other buffs I've got going are... Pretty comparable. Okay. And I... There are no tombstones or anything to get down here. It's just... You go through C you go through Shifra or it's... Nothing is happening. It would be Shifra, I think, because then, it, then it'd be like Shaban, so... Yeah. Stay on the shore of the swamp rather than going in proper. Over there we got... I think that should have... Those ruins should have the... Meteoric Aura Blade, which I just don't really need anymore. That said, it, I think it does more damage to gravity enemies. Aura Blade. Meteoric Aura Blade. It does deal extra damage to gravity type enemies, so it would be good against... Well, you know, I guess I'll never really get a good opportunity to use the Moonlight Greatsword. Ah, no, I'd still probably want to use the Moonlight Greatsword. Hmm. Maybe actually something like Wing of Estelle or Nebula is good. It's pure magic damage and well. Wing of Stone also is Nebula. Wool Palace Ruins. Small chests at the top of the ruins. Northern section of Ansel River, so we can't go there yet. Hmm. Oh, but also the, the Radon Spears actually work well, so... The best way to fight... The Estelle enemy later might actually end up being... Of all things, Lion, Great Bow, do already want to use that thing for something, so want to find a reason to use it. Around here we have a bunch of Kindred of Rot around here too. If we only a Swamp Shore, Cathedral Dragon Communion should be around here, and I think, based on my Pace, actually, I should be able to reach this as a conclusion for today, and then actually it might be might end up being just the swamp and Celia tomorrow. 
then Redmane in the desert, and maybe a little Dragon Barrow. But then after that, of course, you can go to... You can go to Nokron, you can go to... Go to Nokron, you can go to... Nokstel, you can go to Lake of Rot, you can go to... I can already go to Mogwin whenever I feel like, it's just... I don't feel like it. Hmm. Okay. Well then, and this clearly is people trying to drop down and failing. But also that, oh right, abandoned cave is right over there too. That's right. Said I should prefer to teleport in instead of risking life and limb to, oh, an abductor version. Well, I, okay. Interesting stuff you have there. Let's... Lightening this up. It's just... What are these things even doing here? That's the real question. Luckily it... Oh, and... Oh, that stance broke. That's fun. Well... Slow enough that that's still the best way to take them out. Hit an early flower, and... and there's nothing... No advantage to going in there that way. I just gotta... May as well just teleport in. Abandoned cave. Okay. Yep, just right out here. And we already killed the Queen Rot a long time ago, but... Yeah... That was a while ago. Yeah, but always better use that teleport. Still other things in this cave. The nice thing is that now that I've got... Flame cleanse me. Don't have to worry as much about the things in here, and I can just wade through, get the treasure. Yeah, okay, cool. Said quick step would still probably be nice, but yeah, whatever. Okay. Thanks. And there we go. No more of that. So you take a tiny amount of damage to oh, oh, okay, alright. Forgot how much damage that dealt. I should actually put a quick step dagger on just to get through faster. No shame in that. Two, three, four. This is just dragon wing grease and Aeonian butterfly. Oh, how sad. Scarlet rot. It's, it would be a shame if I could just cleanse that away pretty much immediately. Okay. Wouldn't it? Well, for them, not for me, but... Okay. Servants of Rod over here. Not too bad. It is funny, just getting to come back and actually go through this dungeon. And my leisure, now that I don't really have to worry about the Rod effect. And now that all these things are kind of weak sus, weak sus too. Then, oh, the Serpent Bow, nice. That... Form with serpents, assassins known as, and that was also serpent arrows, poisonous snakes, hosing through pagan magic, true worth, and used with poison infused arrows, because the arcane scaling that applies to things on that weapon, but nowhere else. Some rats. Now we have starlight, so we don't have to worry about having to choose between using a torch and. Well, being able to see into handing a weapon, which is nice. A Miranda flower in here, if I recall correctly. One. There we go. This place isn't supposed to be hard. I just went here incredibly, incredibly early. Stay calm. I. This would actually be a decent opportunity to use Blessings Boon. A little bit that I'd like to go off, so. Maybe even. We'll just use that. Okay. Should be enough for the time being. Run in, cut up the flower. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're rotting Miranda. And rush in, and just... Oh, my... Ooh, okay. Cool. And... One... Two, and... Slash kill. Amazing. Amazing. And now I'm poisoned, too. Great. Hopefully this will work on poison as well, so... But now we have to deal with all sorts of... Uh, all sorts of other guys, and oh my goodness. Okay, cool. 
Go over here and take them out. Well, I need to... Thanks. So I... Flame cleanse me. Let's let the flame actually cleanse me. And... Thank you. Come on. I, okay. Thanks. Heal. And... Two-handed... Oh my goodness. Of course it... Poisons again. You've got to be kidding. Okay. Come on, flame. Actually cleanse me. One more thing, but serpent something in here, if I recall correctly. Get up there, though. So many of the doctors, though. Lots of Aeonian butterflies for. Yeah, I won't really need those, though. Poison bloom, Miranda powder. Hmm. Oh, I think you gotta climb up that stack, right? Can I. It'd be funny if that one just suddenly woke up and killed me. Or tried to. I'd just keep my distance and lightning it. Okay. Jumping required ahead. Weird and finicky. This is... Venomous Fang. Deadly Poison, which is... Faster damage. Well, more damage, but less damage over time, technically, than... Normal Poison Duels exile from the Colosseum. Tweet of foot, circling around on targets. So, we... We found what we needed. It would not have taken us much time anyway. This is a... That's supposed to be a hard dungeon. And there we go. Okay. The place where we fought those clean rots so long ago with that stamp upward cut, Ward's Wounds Greatsword. It'd be really funny if you get one of the Iron Maidens to join the fight. Especially since it would almost certainly be bad for the player. Okay. We're back here, smoldering wool. Okay. Hmm. I've actually already gone to that camp and got some Ash of War or something. Oh look, Kindred of Rot. I would expect that Club would be the best way to bash him in. Okay. Can I... Mmm. Can I... Thanks. Oh, but they have remarkably low... Stance. Okay, alright. And can I... Uh, a stupid raw dog. Thank you. I... Alright. Well, I guess it makes some sense, you know. Insects. Brittle bone. Fragile. Fragile. Take that. And... Probably just use that, really. Hmm. Come on, then. What is in here, if anything? Nothing I can really see, but... Pumpkin head along with some Redon soldiers. So we'll take out the soldiers and take out the pumpkin head. Thank you, and alright. Hmm, this might be tough. A Mickle is Lily. Normal Glintstone staff, and ooh, alright. Okay, ooh, my... Okay, what in the... How did that get me stuck? You've got to be kidding me. Come on. These sorcerers. I, okay. Hmm. Stab it. Oh my. What in the. Okay. Oh. Okay. What am I going to do? Stab before. Well, we still got hit, but. Hmm. As long as they're moving at different speeds, we can make this work. Okay, cool. Should be fine now. Just put the. It's back on. It's really just almost always slash or piercing I want to use. You know, hardly ever do I have to worry about bludgeoning. I mean, strike. Okay. See on this side. That, I believe, is Jail Cave, which main thing is going to be trying to get through without dying at all. Because if so, yeah, you could probably double jump that on a horse. Soldier Gauntlets, Mushroom. If I can get through to the point where the vulgar militiamen inside open up the cages while having already killed all the enemies in the area, it would be reasonably simple. But 
Where is it? Where is it? More kindred of run. Oh, the zoom away these ruins over here. Kaled Waypoint ruins and uh, a stray from Kaled Highway North. That's how that's gonna work. This actually. What if I try to equip the club in conjunction? Would that be too heavy? It would be too heavy. Sad. In that case, I guess I'm going to have to try to use this to take dogs out. That is... Well, it could be worse. It's kind of like a snake from this angle, actually. I wonder if that's intentional. Well, these things are... Oh, but aren't these guys also really weak to fire? Well, I... Somewhat. Okay. Thanks. No, okay. Annoying. Okay. Well, cool. the stance damage is not all that meaningful. But I, if I had a little bit more damage, or if I had a tier suited, maybe. Hmm. Maybe we just start using Lion's Claw. Maybe I do. Can I? One, two, and can I? Slam and oh, nice. Let's break on the dog. Okay, and oh my goodness. Okay, why can I? Oh, please, you've got to be kidding. Am I, is this heavy load? Is this heavy load? Uh, no, it's still medium load. What gives? Let's. Flame cleanse me. Come on, flame, cleanse me. Thank you, and just. Getting close, and I do. Okay, can I? And. There we are, and that damage is really good, too. The hyper armor is one of the best aspects, though. That's undeniable. Slashing is good, but it's not the only thing. Okay. Fun using that, then, on these god-awful little guys. And wait, slam it. Okay, nice. And I... Mm-hmm. Okay. And slam again, and take you out, and... Mm, can I... Thanks. Can I... And hyper armor. If you have the health and the willingness to just take those hits. Oh my goodness. It's honestly a little too good. I actually can't. Cannot ignore the fact that this looks like a snake now. Okay. Thank you. And can we. Hmm. Okay. Please, please. Can I? Okay, and even that did not want to have weird. Okay. Guess, you know, it just makes sense. It's, they are significantly weaker to slash than anything else. We get a backstab on this Kindred of Rock guy. Yeah, they're humanoid enough. But it did not want to. One time. Okay, can I? Can I? Uh, 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 I hate, hate these dogs. Can I? And it still doesn't even one hit the kill. Okay. Stupid, stupid rot dogs. Alright. Gale. Jail cave should be in this general area, in this vicinity. Also be an opportunity to pick up Meteoric or a Blade, but, mm, I don't know. It, it's an interesting idea, but I think that in most cases, using things that target elemental weaknesses of gravity type enemies is going to work better for me than trying to target the actual gravity affinity weakness that some weapons can target. Well, that some weapons are specifically more effective on quote unquote gravity type enemies and not. And okay, cool. Hmm. Luckily, I just one, two, slam. And one, two, slam. Okay. It. There is a reason I waited to get this thing. But also, there's a non zero chance that. That Guardian line would have probably taken me out. But. Mm -hmm. Oh my, okay. So the stance damage is good. Okay. Got our light, but it's still pretty hard to see here in Kaled. The question is, if I went over on this, on this big 
weird cancerous balloon. But there be it does not look like there was anything to do there, and now getting down might be a little tough. Eh, we'll be fine. Should be a an illusory four at least. Hmm. Somewhere to get down below. Fight some kindred of rot and baby kindreds of rot and baby kindred of rot. It would just be kindred for the poor, wouldn't it? Oh, whatever. It's not probably the place where we drop down. It would. Yep, it's right here. In part, just by process of elimination. Okay, cool. So, can we. Thanks. Oh, not if we miss. Thank you. Well, you know, if it works, it works. It. Might not be pretty, but neither are they. Starlight. It would this legitimately may be the most useful sorcery in the game for me so far. Especially now that we've got other ways to to Oh, but these These things are weak. They don't have any kind of range, which the ranged attacks were actually the most annoying. Their ability to use pest threads on me. Okay. Meteoric orb went. Oh, okay, well, that was my fault. Get rid of that. Might have pretty high FP cost, but it's nice that it does poison and scarlet rot, but eventually we will presumably be able to get. Oh, but since we were in the vicinity, I think they benefited from the Kindred of Rot's exaltation effect. That's fine. How many more, and will any of them? Just a mushroom. We get something once we clear this out. Let me see. That... I feel as if... There must be one more, right? If we didn't get... Maybe since this is sort of down and... Okay, never mind. Should be... Yep, there was the... Final one. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, Meteoric Ore Blade. Weighty Gravitas, Skin of Stone. We have that as Ash of War, Meteoric Ore, Dispatch, Life Form is Born of Falling Stars. Weighty Slash is such ferocity, Impact is said to resemble the crash of a falling meteor. Okay. Got everything we need in here, so yeah, I'll just be over to Jail Cave, presumably. This little swamp, and then is. There are some things on the shoreline. Stuff over here, just thing on the right side of that, but eventually, yeah, Exyke's Cathedral Drag Communion would be a good way to go. Hmm. Well, I could reasonably take him down with the power of Frenzy Burst without much trouble, because the main thing is just all of his attacks are very, very short-ranged, and he's specifically incredibly weak to fire. So by using a long-range sniping fire incant, I can just target a weakness without being in too much trouble. It is nice that that disappears quickly, but we can use the horse to get through the swamp, that's right. Okay. Kill them, their cloud goes away. One, two. Get the starlight back on. Thank you. What is at the at the at the top though? It's another cave separate from Jail Cave. In that case, what I should do is unlock the side of Grayson One without actually resting at it, and then just is this okay? You can do this without the horse. Good. And that could have been a fall. Good chance that would have killed me, especially since I'm not at full health right now. Frankly, I should be at full health right now. Alright, alright. Thanks. Thank you. Cool. Mm -mm. Die and... Is there nothing here? Is there nothing here other than a Nicholas Lily? That can't be the case. It's definitely the case. I hate it here. And then, 
tunnel I had, yeah. That one over there. Jail Cave, which is spelled almost identically to Gale, t the Gale and Gale Tunnel, but it's archaic English for jail. Not anything like Slave Knight Gale from Dark Souls 3. I see on the horse. No risk of incurring Scarlet Rod ourselves, really, but. So the Wobbin' Around actually hit horse relatively easily, which presumably makes sense, because they'd have to. Oh, amazing. That propagates a lot farther than I'll expect. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Take this. And then I did not intend to do that. Okay. Where are the others? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want a dragonfly, amazing. Just what I wanted to see. Thank you. Guess that killed the dragonfly. Poison balloon. We need a stone sword key to get in here, I think. Oh come on. Come on. I uh, maybe I need Hmm. Maybe I do need a glintstone shard. Oh, but I, pff, I've only got Ken the Hymo on here right now. That's right. Uh, bug killer, bug killer. Annoying. They're moving, though, like... Annoyingly hard to hit. Okay, well, alright. At least they're ignoring me now. That was more difficult than it should have been, and definitely more difficult than I expected it to be. It- I don't need to kill those dragonflies, so I just won't. Really, what is this? Message and- Oh, but- uh, Oh, that's what happens. I saw some of those before, so what they do is- They walk towards ruins to show them. Now I see. And I'm great dragonfly- Oh, but that was probably just- an actual great dragon for I mean, I'd hit and killed. I bet, actually. Well, whatever. Okay. That explains the other ones I saw, but I think I probably got to the dungeons before seeing them, so it didn't matter. And two stone sword keys. One. Two. Yeah, but like with the Japanese, the. There's no distinction in the Japanese between Stone Sword Key and Stone Sword Keys. So, yeah, but the only key you ever get anyway is just seeing how many daggers are already in the heads of the imps. Okay. Let's go in. Take this down. What's in here? Plenty of it is a transport trap. Oh, a rune arc. Nice. Got four. Okay. And I try not to get over our depth. Then the Grave Warden Duelist at the end is what I'm trying to fight. I don't think there are any illusory walls in here, though. Which are weird sort of unfinished tunnel entrances. Well, tunnel entrances that don't lead to actual tunnels, but vulgar militia men are in here. That's the thing. Wes. And... oh, how sad. Okay. Thank you. Here is a Grave Warden Duelist at the end. Here. I can whip around. Always, you don't have the right bunny. Let's keep on moving. Go on through. No hidden path ahead. Have mercy. Trap likely ruin. And there's really nothing other than the sand pit, so... Well, you know, likely message. Yeah. No real point to this. Can't imagine there'd be a lot of people actually seeing that, though. Oh, 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 they're just dead. Some of the corpses are zombies, some of them are just corpses. So we'll lead back around. Eventually, all of these will open back up. So actually, the sooner we... Get a few of them through the wall, and that would be useful for us. So that when all the doors open, we don't have to be 
worrying about them coming out all at once and chasing me down. I'm not, mm, okay, good range. Very good range. Yep, approaches and cannot. Well, you know, that works too. Go ahead, Blop. Still got the runes too. Suffering ahead, and there are items, so it'll be important to go back. But yeah, clearing it out first is a good idea. Yeah. Oh, lots of them. Lots of them. Okay. Cool. The job attacks work best. I think I could really do it. Oh, hello there, Bulgar Mushman. And can I dodge? Hmm. You're just good most of the time, but this time it did not quite do everything I wanted it to. Okay. Can I? Thank you. Let's get that starlight back up. That might be. And uh, no, if I need to rebuff in a fight, I should want it to be as accessible as possible. And not open from this side. Amazing. And I breathe down. Just one of you. Hello. Hello. And this. Don't have the right. I don't have the right. Can I? Okay, cool. One, two. The bleed that they can, can inflict is actually kind of crazy sometimes. So then. When is... Hmm. And another... Slam. Slam. Cannot... Hmm. Slam again. Okay. Can thin the hurt a little, but... We are a bit limited in what we can do. Eventually it'll open up and... The corpses that are not... Oh, that was... Almost gave me a heart attack. Okay. Then, how about you? Hmm. So the Lincoln lead back around. I think this is. It goes back to the start, maybe. It's possible. The end will actually tunnel back to Limgrave, which is funny. Oh, giant, giant rat. Okay. Cool. Two, three, four. Okay. Finally, blood loss. Then we. Oh, oh my goodness. More rats. Okay. And someone's bloodstained. Turtleneck meat. Should not have underestimated the power of rats. Okay. Go back and- oh! Okay, well, we ran fast. Actually help- yeah, just poison rocks over there. Wary of trio. Hello. One- oh, well, I- okay. You're really quite bad. Thank you and- oh my goodness. Okay. Got you and- oh, come on. One, two, three. All right, hmm, gold maroon. What is in this chest? It's a drop down over there, which presumably, so that's that door, okay. Hmm. Is, Somberstone 5, ooh, really good, actually. So what I wanna put on that. And then we, we could pull that now. I will wait a little bit. So I, well, good thing I do have flame grammy strength. Okay. So another group of enemies, group of vulgar militiamen, little duo that I'd like to take out real quick. Come on then. Come on then. Some of you, some of you, and everybody. Okay, nice. No, okay. That jump attack, jumping heavy is very, very good against them. Okay. Might regret. I might want to have blessing this boon on here instead, but uh, whatever. Go open all the doors. Go back through the cave, get some items, then the Grave Warden Duelist will be all that's really left. Jail cave. Because that's, you know, it's a jail cave because things are imprisoned in it. Hmm. Yeah, but I suppose the longitude of longitude of the Dragon Immune Cathedral will be my sort of place to go. Determine things. And there we are. They're all open now. How exciting. 
And it does not seem like we could shut them again, even if we wanted to. Alright. Instead, we've got enough durability that we can actually tank a meaningful number of the explosions, so... Someone died there. Due to poison-related events, presumably. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Huh. Some more in there. Hello, then. Hi. Interesting. One, two, three. Okay. Enough DPS to take them down. Bold skeleton, and that's all. Then I thought, I thought for a second that was another zombie. It was not. And I. This is probably somewhere past here, but the dead ones? That's interesting. Rainbow stone. Golden rune. Back to something, and this is. Drop down to the boss. Okay. Cool. Hold secret passage. I'm. Um, I think that's the boss. I think. Nothing, yeah. Figured as much. I. It was interesting how there were three. We three walls in Ray Lucaria. One, two, three. No explosion for you. Here we got. Wakizashi. Golden Rune. Stone Sword Key. It's actually technically a dagger. Short sword tempering pattern. Need to war is the land of reeds. Auxiliary weapons. In his left hand, full size katana. In his right, he like swordsmen known only as Okina, who will meet much later in the mountaintops of the giants. Can I? Thanks, thanks. And okay, cool. That works too. That's just. One. Okay, well, alright. Oh, but if you stun them hard enough, you can actually stop them, but it's. Oh my goodness, okay. Can knock them out of their explosion, which is quite funny. Let's throw it again. Hmm. I. Use. Blessing's boon, quite frankly. That would be better than a full use of that. And can I. Oh, well, never mind. Can't DPS through that. Liar. Okay. For time, this should actually heal me back almost to full. Okay. Then I... Another corpse? Okay. Question is, how am I going to get back, back? Golden rune. And oh, yeah, I... Hmm. Oh, I'd have to drop down from the lever area. Right. Okay. But yeah, it's all about hmm, clearing everything out on this one life before something stupid happens. What is interesting is that I think I might encounter Millicent today, who has the unique quality of having waterfowl dance on a shamshir, which is not something the player can ever do because a waterfowl dance is not a be funny if DLC gave Waterfowl Dance equipped as an Ash of War you could actually put on stuff. So they did that with some other unique Ashes of War. But hmm. let's play this safe. Let's see how much Cannon of Haima do does in comparison to Lightning Spear. Lightning Spear and Cannon of Haima. And oh, that and the AOE is really, really good too. Ooh, yeah, that. Hey, who said that magic had no AoE? And then... Cost, though, is... a bit prohibitive, but this is a good AoE spell. Let's sort of keep it as my dedicated AoE now. Back down on the other side of that. Okay. Work our way back slowly but surely to loot everything else in this cave. How much is... Oh, and this is the way back to the very, very start. Makes sense. Yeah, but that's open now, too. Because they're not doors that really open. They don't swing open. They just work a portcullis that actually lifts, specifically. Melted mushroom. And then... Come on. One, two, three. Old thing. Pillory shield. Hidden path. Well, it's because there is none. Then, raises vitality, divine skill to remain to endure prolonged suffering, super spells, uses a shield, good sturdy wood, makeshift tool performs as such. 
And the negation is almost non-existent. Makes sense. Okay, been through there. That's all about... Basically run your way through if you really wanted to. All the way to the duelist now. Hmm. So then, that's where I came from. Or been. What's on here? This is just gold. Okay, alright. Feels a bit like Latria. Honestly. That, did that? No, I don't think that. Did that one even raise or. Whatever. And I must have gotten it all, so it'll be time to just buff up and. Slaughter the duelist relatively quickly. Back to Boone. Which. It's still on. We can't teleport right now. Stake is active, which is maybe good for me. It's back over around there, but this is way to the Grave Warden Duelist. So, down a little, but not drop down all the way. That we can buff up on the ledge or something. Okay. Wait until. Yeah. I think when we get down there, it should basically immediately. But it's in the fight, it looks to be the case. Then we... Blood Flame? Golden Vow, well, we need that. Okay. Golden Vow. Flame, Grammy Strength. And actually, right, we should use that flask. Okay, cool. There we have it. Grave Warden Duelist right over there. A Frenzy Duelist. Die. Can I... Nice, and can I... Oh, wow. Okay. Cool, and just... That was actually ridiculous. Okay. Kind of stupid. Corpse Ashes, and there is going to be the way to Regali of Arcade. Four putrid corpse spirits, some distance from the summoner, movement stolen and confused, low moans effective at drawing attention to enemies. True death does not come easily for them. Okay, we have many buffs. First of all, arm men ahead, arm men ahead, yeah. You see, back to Limgrave. How exciting. Hello there. Regali of Arcade. Actually, if you're very, very silly about it, you can actually... Just kind of skid down the cliff to get here. And skip that dungeon. Glowstones and... Yeah. Straight Sword Arcane Scaling. Not all that high. Huh. Standard Pierce, Ikid's Dancing Blade, Western Long Vanished Domain, Copper Coloration, not to be confused for Russ, Conduit for its will to remove it by the will alone, Swords of Ikid, Dance for the Skies, Swords with Energy, Forwards on a Corkscrew Attack, Tinnisly deals damage violently spinning, charge the attack, increase reach and duration of the spin. Okay. So this, down over here, around, and then... Silly Crystal Tunnel is over here, too. Hmm. Little pocket over here. An outlet for the Seifer Well. Hmm. Gonna go to the wall. Hmm. How much around here, and when is it going to drop off? Well, also. That's right, I've got enough for another level up. Let's do that. Level up, and... What then? Probably actually strength. Sure. Now we're at the point where, actually, when we two-hand it, we're at soft cap. Yeah, so... This is basically the point where... Dexterity is going to sort of keep pace and strength will start falling off because of scaling and the way it works. Because of the effect of two handing. Hmm. Not enough damage that I don't really need. The effects of my buffs are ridiculous. My buffs up, I can just kill almost anything. Even without. It's just. Being able to outright slaughter 
that duelist in three skill hits and you know one and a half casts. Well, I'm telling you, the very first flower of Aeonia bloomed on this very spot. Millennia may blossom into a goddess. That. It's a putrid corpse. Huh. Or is that a. That might actually be. It's kind of like an alabaster. Lord, I. Is that. Yeah, that's an alabaster lord. I think. Hmm. So maybe then. Would that have been the one who. Well, I guess it's too tender to make any kind of connection, but given that Radon was taught magic by an Alabaster Lord, it's not impossible that maybe that could have been the one, and after witnessing the Battle of Aeonia, they... Didn't really lose allegiance, I suppose, but gained an admiration for millennia, maybe. Let's just go on the shore of the swamp. It's interesting how... There's always a big body of water. It's interesting. Over here you've got the Shaded Castle Poison Swamp. When I go to Altus, I think I'll start from Gelmir. It's a good idea. Oh, but also, if I want to fight Xyxes. Oh, but no. If we've got. I thought for a second Flame Shot was from there. No, it's from Mother Urge over here, so I don't really need to bother with that. Okay. Let's get done with Kaoid. Yeah, it's minor. Straight to Gelmir through the teleport we were sent to. Doing all that. And. Oh, okay, so it's actually a drop-down. That actually makes things a bit easier. A bit more comprehensible. Oh, well. Hi. Then? It's just... With rune arcs... And... The fact that I've got increased rune gain... All the time, and even more increased rune gain in boss fights, it... I, I don't feel meaningfully weak for having done my stupid build. And it gives me so much versatility. It's a lot of fun. It does mean that I'm always kind of technically down one talisman slot. But it's... It might change later on. But for now, it's just the benefit of having more runes to spend on anything I could want to spend runes on is so much better than having to you know, than having another talisman slot for some relatively minor effect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Can I one, two on the backswing. Two, okay. Oh, all right then. Mm -hmm. Let me just see. Okay, hello, stop by again, buy something, will you? And we already got everything. He didn't even sell anything that we really needed. One is the goddess of Rod herself. I forgot how to craft them. Just, you know, guess they'd theoretically run out eventually? Maybe. This is a good corner to use. Okay. Who should be right by that side of grace, so... Let me see. Balvione, Watton Stillmate, Scarlet Rotten Blooms. Hmm. So, Xyke, yeah, it would be down around this area. The... Kindred of Rot are specifically weak to, specifically resistant to Slash, if I recall correctly. So what if I got on top of here? Anything of real note, or let me see. Oh, well, we can Skarm Horse it. What's up here? What's up here? And your reward is 
A nice view of the Cancer Swamp. Amazing. Actually, it doesn't look all that red. It's more of a brownish gray. In this angle, in this time of day, and Zyke's is around there. Get around this area, and then, of course, Dragon Communion Cathedral. Great Bridge, and we have Celia Town of Sorcery, right by the Celia Crystal Tunnel. Falling Star Beast, and my comet is 36, if I recall correctly. Could be an option, but. Mm. And I fight the Falling Star Beast in Celia Crystal Tunnel. The best option is probably Magic Shrouding plus Intelligence Boost, maybe. It's Terra Magic Akarian Slicer. That would be useful. And the Scarlet Rot Blooms. I bet it does. And we. It's just a dog right now, so the kindred are a bit detached. Okay. Yeah, I get up close, figure out where best to engage Exyke's from. Take him on. Take him out. Yeah. Okay. And just can we can we hit multiple? Cannot hit multiple. The range is actually rather limited. And we got basically. Telling this big shrimp. So it is. In a way, they're very shrimp like. It's funny. Hmm. Here we are. Thank you. That's enough to actually. Thanks. Slam and. Okay, cool. Hmm. Slam and. Alright. Oh, I did not intend to do that, but. If it works, it works. Can I? Hmm. Thanks. One, two. Literally flower, and eventually. Pestle Red, their pest glaive should drop. Eventually. And I. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Can I. Slam. Kill. Thank you. Alright. Summon that back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change out my. Oh, and that. No, oh, we've just. That nah, was just a spot I could have dropped down to if I had wanted. But Exyches is over there. I do see him. Starlight shards. Well, there's only one starlight shard. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Get as close as we can without actually starting the fight. Use that to form a perimeter. But before I go much past him, and I did run past him before again to get to Impassable Great Bridge in order to, you know, get my foul feet farming spot, but that's not the same. Oh, there he is, but I could actually. That's an idea. Hmm. Using the over overhanging ledge, or the ledge as a way to get some snipes off without having to worry. Okay, this side of grace is just right here. Side of grace right by the fight. Okay. Well, you know, nothing if not convenient. Yeah, just aiming stuff at the head will be incredible. As long as I can just hit the head with frenzy burst, it. I should probably call out some duplicate weapons from the inventory right now. I I can just there's other stuff, but until the dragon is dead, I well sort of just this sort of line angle. Hard to tell. More Miranda flowers over there, and this is actually actually the shore. Hmm. The question is where Millicent will actually show up. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and we're rotting. Great. And... A lot of stamina. Cool. Cool. Die. Flame cleanse me. It's the damage it's doing. is not all that... 
stronger fast. Some small consolation. That over there we'll still need to go to then, but the question is just when if and when Millicent shows up, how I am to deal with it. Oh, and, oh another dog. Okay. Thanks. Amazing. And all right up. Okay, cool. Take this. Kill a few more flowers before the big one. Just the sheer damage dealt by. Blood Hunt's finesse is really, really good. I, okay, cool. Hmm, and I, oh, come on. The propagation is incredible and not in a good way. Well, not in a good way for me. Oh, giant land squirt. Also great, and not for me. Okay, cool. One, two, break the stance and break. Critical in. There we go. It, well, it's kind of funny just go here much earlier and have these things be trouble. Not just in here, but also in other files, and then try in other ways as well. Hmm. Hard to hard to say. Hmm. Yeah, there is a big rotten dragon around here, but can I cliff force this? Well, there's nothing to get there, so just. Thank you, Miranda Flower, and the rot's disappearing slower than I would have expected. We're getting to... This is more or less the longitude I wanted to get to, so that's good and all. Because, because... Like I said before, the Cathedral Dragon Community is directly to the south, which... Big thing is that there's some incantations, especially the rot incantations, which I definitely should get right now in order to and oh all right well at least we broke that even if it how can that land squirt actually move out of the way that's what i'm asking you really should not be able to do that and i hmm, such a big giant pustule on this land i wouldn't i wouldn't call it agile but it's more mobile than you would expect swamp of aeonia and then We'll go on the actual song a bit later, see if, if only one last time. Splendid boy dancing amongst the scarlet rot. Question is, is he talking about Millicent or about Millennia? Either way, we've got a side of grace right by the... Well, I didn't activate it, which is stupid, but... Side of grace right by Exyches. Would it be Exyches? Because I'm pretty sure that's a reference to the Ekisax, which is a legendary sword from German mythology used by... Well, in Fire Emblem, it's the name of the sword used by the final boss of Fire Emblem 6, but it's named after... It wasn't Ogur the Dane, it was... Ekisax was... let me see... I know it was a mythologized version in German mythology of some Norse figure. I read that some time ago. Ekasax. Would have been Dietrich. Dietrich. Eka. Sax. Ekasax. There would be Dietrich von Bern, who is based off of Attila the Hun, if I recall correctly. Let me just see. You're obviously a very unrealistic depiction of Attila the Hun. You're making him German instead of a sort of central, well, Eastern European, so a Central Asian guy, but it's interesting. So the side of grace by Tang Exakis is right there. But he is described in his spell of him is Ren Kamina Revenge. No, I did actually take that, so let's kill it how I south. So whether I end up Oh, but also right, Flame Grammy Strength also works on fire, so that's good too. Just physic, and that should be intelligence and faith. Here we have it, that's good. How am I going to let's see burst is good. It's got a I'm probably not gonna need Blessing Boon or Bloodwind Blades. Golden Vow. 
And Flood grant me strength. That are going to be the only things I can really make use of here, but then we should be fine. Strength. Well, might have to reapply some buffs eventually. Oh, they're high. And just shoot. And will this... Good damage. Thank you, Exekis. And another quick hit. Boom. We need more Flask of Cerulean Tears. If we just stay over here, we can... Oh, but the raw breath is... Oh, can I... Yep, it... He can't do much to me. That's actually kind of sad. I think now's the time to reply. I don't need Blessing's Boon. And... Oh, the rot's kind of getting me, but... Ooh, all right. I... Ooh, my goodness. Let's Flame Cleanse me. Flame Cleanse me again. Flame Grab me Strength again. And I... Oh, what are you... Oh, never mind. I... Okay. Maybe the horse... Maybe the horse is a good idea. Might be. I... Where is... Where is he, though? Can't quite see... Oh, my... Okay. Hmm. Then the spell rocket... Oh, but that's gonna... Weird. That's annoying. Can I... Can I... Hmm. Well, that... That will not hit. Okay, well... Can we hit again with that and... Boom. No poise damage really being dealt, though, but I can... Oh, what? Huh? Did he get his health back, though? He got his health back, I... Let's see. That would be bad news for me. Oh, no, he didn't get his health back, at least. That's good. And I, mm, okay. Ruin tears. Here apply. Blessing. No, not blessing. Not blessing's boon. Golden vow. And... Flame grant me strength. And just... Mm, can I... I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. But, okay. The big thing is, I need a lot more... Cerulean Blast for this fight. If I'm gonna do some kind of sniping strategy. Also, I should focus on uncharged hits. We'll come out a lot faster. Okay. Hmm, okay. Alright then. Let's take Wondrous no, not the Wondrous Physic, but the Flask Allocation. Let's I have that. Six. Let's go with seven. This should be more than good. Use that. Use our Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength, which lasts shorter than I might like. And actually, the ledge is not that amazing, given that he can get back up anyway. So, grant me strength. Frenzied Burst. May as well go on the horse. I could also switch stuff out, so... Come on, come on. And boom. Boom again. Boom again. Again, just anything to hit the head. Anything to hit the head with your ridiculous fire weakness. And boom, and raw breath, and oh, alright. Oh, okay. So the physical damage of that was quite significant. Makes some sense. But he is a totally optional fight, too, which is interesting. You can just totally run around him, which... May actually be a better idea in the long run. But if he's here, I'm fighting him. If he is here, I'm fighting him. Got four rune arcs left. Try not to die this time. So I... Hmm. Class of Physic. But I should take this off. The seal here just... Will make a number of things much easier. Shouldn't actually be on the horse most of the time, but... I could level up that Golden Order Seal a little, that is true. Give me Strength, Frenzied Burst. Got the fire going, and here we are. Just blast. Blast you. Blast your head again. Blast your head again. Cerulean Tears, and... Blast your head. And that is... Rotten Breath. That is enough that I should... Yeah, I stay away from that. Cool. And while you advance slowly, but surely we will... Not hit. Okay. Cool. And can I... Mmm. Mmm. Alright. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, alright. This is actually quite tough. Maybe actually I should try... It might be better to just try something like Catch Flame. Well, for one, I can go back to Round Table Hold and use that one... Level 5 smithing stone, I got to increase the power of the seal a little first. 
should be. Yeah, right now it's at 176. With. I can't take the physics class though. 76. Physic class, not physics, physic. 76, and then. 184. That's good. Meaningful increase. Go back here and kill it how itself. Blood Flame Blade is just incredible. I'll probably use it to fight Moog too. The damage is just that good. Can I hmm catch flame or what kind of Maybe I could try something like Whirl of Flame. Uh eh, it's worth worth an attempt, but let's see. Sigma Fire versus Black Flame is a fun idea too. And the big thing is this is in theory the best DPS. So run in, see how much this boosts my 232, that's a very meaningful increase. So I did not mean to do that at all. Okay. Also did not mean to do that at all. And now Flame grant me strength. Catch flame. Oh, well, you... Okay, alright. Thanks. And I... Mmm. Big thing is, can I... I definitely cannot reach this head with any kind of meaningful... Okay, well, the big thing is that the physical damage is much... Ooh, alright, that's really good. Okay, I... Alright, and... Okay, come on. I, okay. What, what... Oh, interesting. I, how are you on that? Oh, that's actually quite cool. Hmm. But I, mm, the flame Grammy strength is going to be decaying quite quickly, and this is not reach. I. It's possible that O flame might reach it, but I feel like using frenzy bursts from up close might actually be the best way to do it, for the simple reason that <sighs> it does have very good range. And even when I'm up close to the head, reaching it, reaching the head is another question entirely. So, put that back on and try this again. We just gotta get in close. It wouldn't be really fun. I could try Flame of Frenzy or something, but eh. Eh. And just like this, we will. There's a Quask. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength. And the Frenzied Bursts are going to start coming hard and strong. Use the distance we have at the moment, but first we get in close. Cool. Alright. Nice. Cerulean Tears and can I dodge in and... Oh, nice. What? Mmm. It's going that way, but I... Okay. Cool. And... Mmm. Well, we're rotting now. And... Oh. That was quite bad. But I was able to chunk a good amount of his health first. This guy's already eaten two Runarchs. It's not good. Because I still can't actually use Frenzied Burst without a Runarch on. So it's 22, I think? Faith Wreck? Yeah, so... Still, I need my Runarchs in order to actually use it. That is somewhat inconvenient. Okay. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength. Frenzied Burst. The farther I stay away from... That did less damage than I expected. I wonder what's going on here. Did I... Oh, I forgot to drink my flask. Okay, cool. And just Cerulean, Cerulean, and... Okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, and... Can I... Wait, okay. Hmm. Okay. That was the issue. Cannot burst, and... Can, mm, unless I'm totally facing, nothing is going to really work. Annoying! Okay. One. Two, and... Can I... Dodge out of the way of the Rotting Breath. Okay, cool. Hold them down. Flame Grammy Strength. Then 
Cerulean. So a hit and run strategy is going to work pretty well here, actually. We need to actually, you know, do it. Come on, then. Come on. Give me a place where I can actually hit the head. Thank you for letting me hit the head. And just turn around and blast again. And staying in mid-range is very, very good. And Oh, well, that's breath. Or is it? It's breath. Okay, cool. Means time to... Ooh, that goes far. Hold him down again. Playing grant me strength again. The nice thing is that I can just harry him from a distance with fire without him really causing issues. It is funny, just he deals a lot of damage, but also... Oh, come on. I, okay, I'll ride it. Mm, can I... A lot of HP, but also very weak to every kind of damage. I'm doing this much damage with just this stuff is still crazy. And, okay, alright. Thank you. Snub again and... Mm, that's gonna be too far off. Come on again, come on. Please, please. Will this hit? Should hit. And, there we are. Cerulean Tears. Blast. Blast again, and this should be good. There we are. Zang Xyke's down. Great enemy fell. That's a very nice amount of runes. Dragon Heart, new Draconic Power, available at the Cathedral Dragon Communion. Glad to see it. So in that case, we can level up a couple of times. Yeah, we can actually get two levels, so... In, in faith right now, sure. We still... In the end, it... My build is specifically based around the assumption that I... Especially my spell choices that I've equipped right now. Based around the assumption that I will always have a rune or gop. And that... When things start really getting hard, that might not be such a safe assumption to make. Yeah, over here we've got... How many dragon hearts do we have? Yeah. Continues to beat vivaciously. Riddle with gravel stones. Consume a heart to make its power yours. Terrible, savage-looking thing. Peculiar beauty to it. The side of it looks a bit like a dragon head. Seized by a dragon tracker, and that is me. Slayer of dragons. So let's put our... Golden Order Seal back on there. Put my Bloodhound Sting back on as well. Interesting. It might be good to switch my Flask back out, but we'll see. And I... Hello. Oh, Scavengers. Kind of sad, really. I... Hmm. Be able to tell if I've killed them all if I deliberately consume a Flask and then... Wait until we get the flask regeneration graphic. That'll be nice. Another slash, another slash. Thank you very much. The ottoman. Oh, what? Oh, what is? Why is there a troll here? I. Okay. All right. That makes very little sense. And oh wow, that worked. Okay. Also, we can just you know almost double the damage we deal with our bloodhounds finesse because it's taken down, but... Oh, okay. I was gonna say for a second, there was no reward for that. Okay, we got a larval tier, which again, the only thing that's good for they can actually use it for at all is reallocating your stats, which I have no intention of ever doing for a number of reasons. Well, for one big reason, which is just... You know, I could not meaningfully reallocate my stats. Uh, what am I gonna do? Shuffle around single points between a couple of stats? No. But, you know, I could not meaningfully reallocate my stats without literally breaking the not letting any stat get more than one over any other condition. So, and here we have it. This is the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, and down here is... Oh, there's actually another Banished Knight down here. But these guys showed up in Stormvale. They also show up in Castle, Sol, and Farm Azul, if I recall correctly, but... Let's just get a quick backstab on this guy. No reason not to. Cloak helmet. You don't have a cape in as much as a cloak on the helmet. But the ones with the hoods will use dragon commun dragon communion incantations. As opposed to the ones without who will use storm-based skills, wind-based skills. Let's keep on moving, and here we are, the Cathedral Dragon Communion. 
we can get some lore on the other dragons here now. This is a Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. Dragon Wound Grease. So do we have any I don't think I can make that. How many Yeah, I don't have any dragons any gravel stone. Be able to get a good amount from Wayne Dill Golden Capital and the big giant body of Grand Sacks, but which literally just means big stone, but don't really feel like it. Dragon Communion, and this is just there was the Chapel of Dragon Communion where we could get some Dragon Communion spells. I mean the church. This is the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Eventually there'll be something even better, but not right now. Over here and oh, this is Burning Crimson. Actual Dragon Communion and So Dragon Fire, Flaming Breath, Pure and Overwhelming Power. Superior Flying Dragon Agil. Dead gaze at the skies over the lakes of Vlingray, praying the dragon's flames would burn them to ash. And that is why the gods in the dragon burnt ruins over here. Surprisingly, no signs of grace in this lake. All talking about Agil o Agil. Wanting him to come and kill them. Stone Breath and Smarag, Devourer of Sorcerers, corrupted by their glintstones. And that's the one I fought over in. Override by Rail Wakaria to get the Glintstones to get it in here, so presumably he had a sorcerer to get their key. Bit of environmental storytelling. Dragon Hearted, and that's decent. This is an incantation that can deal magic damage, which, you know, the reason that incantations get every kind of damage, and magic has to settle for magic damage and sometimes fire, and only if they build, build faith too. Not forget his hatred, even as he succumbed to the Scarlet Rot. There's a guy who just fought. Dragon Ice, Dragon Claw, pure and overwhelming power, yet pure and overwhelming power. So the only one I really want right now is actually Rotten Breath. Make it thine own. I could see, I actually couldn't really see it, but this little sound, this squelching sound of eating. Dragon Heart. Well, that's pleasant. The only things left of that would be. I want to go a bit north of here, but this area is what I'm going to save for tomorrow, most likely. Got Sully, a town of sorcery in the big swamp, and then I might get to Raidman Castle. Probably not in the desert arena, and this is just the entire arena for the Radon fight. There's one dungeon there up here, not all that much. Dragon Bear is quite small, the big thing is taken down. Uh, Elder Dragon Grail, the mother of dragons, and also I'd be able to fight a godskin at the bottom of the tower. It's interesting that this is the only divine tower that you can really meaningfully poke around in two, but I owe an... How one walked around enough to see me. I do not like that. Alright, and stab again. We did a bit of counter damage because thrust weapons deal. Oh, banished knight armor altered, which is what I've got on right now. But there's a non altered banished knight armor, interestingly enough. Though it says altered, you can't actually change it into the normal set by way of alteration, which is something you can do using these. Tailoring tools at a side of grace. But there are other banished knights up way north. So far north we can't even actually stretch the map that far yet. Because what I do like is that... And you know, I guess Genshin kind of does a similar thing. But we know we're going to get seven nations anyway. Oh, I... You know, if... This is going to sound really stupid... But, but given that Scaramouche's entire story as a character was arguably just one long reference to the lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody, I, I, I feel like you know, there, there are seven nations. I, I feel like there has to be, at the very end, at end game, it's going to be Celestia versus a literal seven-nation army. And that may be some other lyrics of that song. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Can't believe I just... It's so stupid that it's... It's so stupid it just has to happen. It's so stupid that it just has to happen. Okay. So then... The, the only thing I can think of there is that some of the lyrics... In... The only other lyric that comes to mind that could be even remotely relevant is that 
that Jack White talks about going to Kansas, retiring, and becoming a shopkeeper. In that song. Which, I mean, obviously, obviously we're not going to go to Kansas. But, yeah, we can just go through as long as we're willing to heal that off. But it just depletes so fast. But I don't know, the Traveler will become a shopkeeper at the end to that chapter. We'll play as the Traveler's sibling or something. Who knows? Who knows? But it's the only thing other than just, you know, seven nation army as a concept that I can think of as being relevant, but it's just... I mean, in the end, it... There being seven nations is not a reverence to that. It's a Gnosticism thing about... You know, the seven Archons is... The specific number of seven is, an, is a Gnostic thing. But... And can we get some of... Still running away. How many more stupid little flowers are going to be around this way? Hmm. There's some kindred of, I mean, not kindred, but servants of Rod up top here. And that, uh, yeah. But the only things... This over here, there's a big cliff drop off. There's a chasm that marks the split off. Coliseum up here. Also, there is... This entire area is, of course, you know, this dragon-heavy location. But, oh, there's, I think this is the Everjail with Battlemage Hughes, which is actually kind of useless for us, because it only brings in, you just get Spirit Ashes for it. But what's interesting is that he uses the Haima spells. And I used Cannon of Haima for a bit. It's a decent source of magic damage with high enough requirements that I feel like it's worth using. Big thing is, without. Unless there are clear reasons not to, using the highest stat requirement spell for a given damage type is. what I've been trying to do. And okay, the nice thing about Bloodhound's thing is how much stronger there. Well, Bloodhound's thing is a weapon, has abnormally strong jumping attacks, which are already a bit smaller to compensate for how slow they are in comparison, but. You go for a jumping strong attack, it's even better. And just in general, dealing slash damage, which is probably the best type of damage in the game, is undoubtedly piercing. Because in Dark Souls, blunt damage or strike damage, or whatever you want to call it, was the dedicated anti armor. Also, enemies who were kind of stony or golem like, but those weren't all that common generally. You would want to use blunt damage against them as well, but in Elden Ring and okay, it spawns mist on the spot too. Interesting. There were enough golem enemies that strike damage was relegated to being just the anti-golem damage type, more or less. And piercing, which in earlier Souls games was basically just for scales, which was incredibly, incredibly just not worth it. There's almost nothing it would be specifically good on, because most enemies that you would want to use use it on would be you know, scaled enemies would usually be dragons, which in most Souls games were specifically incredibly weak to lightning. In this Souls game, especially since you know, dragons are hard enough enemies that you want to be... you want to have a good way, to deal, way of dealing with them. Lightning is actually the element that dragons usually use. So they're not weak to lightning, but they do keep the weakness of piercing as a scaled creature that they did kind of have in Souls games. The What is interesting is that Dark Eater Midir, who is arguably the hardest sort of bonus challenge boss in Dark Souls 3, was an early example of a true dragon. Sometimes there were drakes that were not weak to lightning damage. Of a true dragon, albeit one incredibly corrupted, that was not especially weak to lightning. It was weakest to pierce. So in a way, you could kind of see that as maybe presaging a bit of Elden Ring in that there were dragons, but you fight them with piercing damage instead of lightning damage. Another interesting thing... Okay, here is where I got the Caleb map, actually. Okay. Let's check my info. 
How many killed maps were there? I think it was just... Don't need that. Meeting points map, and... Wait. It wasn't here, I... Tools, key items, no, it would be in key items. So, Kaled, Dragon Bear, so it's just, yeah, Kaled. Kaled is actually a good deal smaller than the other areas. It looks to be of a similar size, but... You got West and East Limgrave. It's about the size, at least, apparently, of just Limgrave without Bleeding Peninsula. And Bleeding Peninsula is a big part of Limgrave, about half the size of Lyurnia. And it gets even smaller when you realize this entire desert is almost entirely empty. The actual Caleb part cuts off around here. This is mostly empty desert for, to have a big arena for the Radon fight. Some items you can pick up. One dungeon over here, but nothing is really going to interfere. It's not something that is a meaningful obstacle to you. Redmond Castle is interesting, but it's not... also not crazy crazy. But I... There's not much else to do. Nothing else I could do just to occupy five more minutes or so. Maybe I could talk to the merchant. But I'm in a place to get off pretty much right at the time I wanted to, which is 11 my time, so... So we got the cracked pot, we got gravity's advantage. Pull down. Oh, but if there are a bunch of crows over here, I could test out. Seeing how well casting gravity well would do on that crow. So it's also a source of magic damage. Bit arguably more conventional projectile than Gobble of Haima, which. Good damage, but high cost, weird arc of it, and heavy AoE focus, so let's put on... Cannot use Meteorite. Well, I could with a flask, but that's not how I want to do it. Gravity Projectile, let's check out Gravity's Advantage description real quick. Stone Digger Trolls, Bear Old Wounds. Oh, where did I buy that? Right, because, yeah, I'm very weak too. Heads. What's this enthrall? Frenzied Flame, and... For colors, which is interesting. How much gravity's advantage? But I bought that right. It's right here. Bring flying foes low. Oh, but we have this. But I've already read that. So let's see what happens if I use gravity. Well, bit of experimentation. It could be funny to try it on this thing. Oh, but the homing's good too. Let's try them. Can I charge this? Yeah, and oh well. Won't quite hit from here. I'm gonna try killing one of those big birds with power of gravity. Yeah, and we'll be chilling. Come on, what is this gonna do? Hmm. Okay. Alright, and oh, okay, let me just try to. Well, that did not quite work. Done it faster, maybe it could have. Oh, okay, can I. Hmm, and. What am I gonna. Okay. Well, it's not flying at the moment, is the thing I. Okay, and just. Can we. Oh, but my casting speed is not nearly enough. I can't predict it or anything. Hmm. Well, all right, I... Can we... Uh, huh? All right? This is really, really weird. No. But what flying foes specifically do they want to... Ah, uh, okay. Well, all right, it can I... Well, I... Hmm. The big thing is that it didn't give me any kind of special... Uh, thank you, and... Oh, come on. On... And uh, dodge, dodge it. Okay, can I? Thanks, thank you, and heal, heal before that kills me. I, okay, what? What in the? What? Okay, cool. Just dodge, dodge it. Uh, thank you, heal, heal. And what in the goddamn? That was a stupid way to die. Well, I think it's not a great note to end things on, but I think it's the note I'm going to end things on. I have. We are running low on rune arcs. I... There are some places I could buy some from, but... I'll wait to do that until I absolutely have to. So I guess that's it for tonight. 
I will continue through more of Eastern Kaled next time. Doing pretty well for ourselves. Thank you for watching, and yeah, Santa Ragan.